Welcome to the Minoka Dobo stream. The stream where I can talk for an hour and 20 minutes and nobody on YouTube will ever know what I was talking about. We're continuing Super Mario 3D World today. Uh, maybe a little Bowser's Fury later if I have time for it, if I still have time for it. But, hey yo! <laughs> Did you miss me? Didn't stream yesterday, but there was that Nintendo Direct. Um, if you're in the YouTube channel, uh, let me know in the comments what you're excited for. If you're in the Twitch, uh, feel free to double post what you were what you were already talking about, what you liked. I'm excited for so many things. I actually did like the Direct. And you know what? I'm not about to elaborate on why again, so... <laughs> Sorry, had to be here live for that. Let's play Mario, huh? Let's forget all about that uh, internet drama on the social medias. This is why... This is probably why Nintendo stopped having Miiverse. They knew where social media was going. Social media was a mistake! Let's play, huh? We're in World 5? I forget how many worlds there are in Mario 3D World. But, uh, we're gonna make substantial progress today. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. Ah. Every time we play, I'm gonna pick a different character. Today we'll choose Peach! Starting to think that that rumor that Daisy was playable was actually not true. But hey, I'm getting Daisy in Mario Golf. And she got her little Sarasaland tan going on, so oof. Oof, she's not the only one who's sweating. Let me tell you. What? <laughs> yeah. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope everybody hasn't fallen asleep by the time I've actually started playing. But I'm just having a grand old time. So we're playing as Peach today. And I've, I've just noticed several things from watching people play Mario 3D uh, World. I will mention them in a second, but let's go. At least it's not Toad. We did Toad last time. Uh, he got sent to jail for being too dang fast. Where he belongs. <laughs> you ever notice how uh, Princess Peach runs like Ed from Ed, Ed, and Eddie? <laughs> Butter toast. Eggs, eggs, eggs. It will now live in your mind rent free. I have to suffer through it, so so shall you guys. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember when I accidentally chose Princess Peach uh, earlier on in the playthrough. It was a problem because she's a little floaty. Good stream, good stream. Oh, kind of star, how's it going? Maybe I'll pick you next time. No, I will always pick you, Obst. Whether it be for soccer or uh, playing some video games. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, Metopia. I didn't even talk about Metopia. I'm excited for a lot of things, but Metopia, I'm curious about. That game, uh, I feel like it's definitely so much better if you play it making these of your friends, uh, potentially on a stream. So I'm excited to see, like, what some of my streamer friends will come up with. I watched Vine Sauce play it back when it was out on the 3DS. And now that I am an established streamer with my own memes, my own dreams, my own monotremes... What's a monotreme? Like an echidna? Some type of animal? Whoa! Do not touch Fuzzy, do not get dizzy, do not pass go, or collect $200. It is forbidden! Hey, the boy! You will be forsaken by the son of a shepherd! <laughs> she does run like Ed. I'm sorry for putting that image in all your minds, but it's too late now, huh? Can't unsee it now! Oops! Don't just let your memes be dreams. I will let them become reality. Intergalactic, planetary, planetary, intergalactic. Yeah. But oh uh, yeah, that was the uh, question of the day. Now we're just playing. Yeah! Uh, if you like Mario 3D World, or if you've just played it for any amount of time, what is your favorite character? Just getting a feel for what people are think. I actually do like playing as Toad the most uh, mechanically. But when it comes to Mario games, if there's no difference, then put- sign me up. Sign me up for Luigi all the way through. Because he's the mean green meme machine. Giving you angry stares, dabbing on you. What doesn't he do? He just does it all- ow. 
I am idiot. Well, at least I got the spiky ball out of the way. Enjoy the lurk origination, and thank you again for that raid. Wait a minute. Oh, they really expected me to have a fire flower at this point, did they? This is not fair! Whee! I'll take it. So, uh, I just realized... I had a fire flower. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this hard mode where I can. Green Mario! Best character! Just go for Luigi in general. Like, that's what I've always liked to do since, like, as a kid. Like, playing regular Mario World, I would play with two controllers plugged in, and then just so I could play as Luigi, kill off Mario's lives. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad! How dare they? Oof! Sequencing ruined. It's okay, I have a nice amount of coins. As long as I keep at that value, we'll be fine. Nice, nice! Go with the flow. Don't make the same mistake as last time. We have all the stars. Uh, we're missing a stamp. But I think Toad's about to give that to us. Um. Captain. Captain, oh, Captain, my Captain. You wanna, you wanna help? Oh, you can only, I can only activate him if you got the fire flower. Okay, fine. Just miss connections right up here. Stealing furtive glances, but Peach knows in her heart she is taken. It's okay. We won't tell. We won't tell if you just give Captain Toad a little, little peck on the cheek. Kiss, kiss. Mario won't find out, right? None of y'all will reveal the secrets. <laughs> yeah. I am trying to go for, you know, collecting as much as I can. Oh, you can fast travel. Good. You know what I really liked about Bowser's Fury Mode? You unlock fast travel after a certain point. Which is great. It's a good open world. And I had a lot of fun with it most Mario 64 like experience I've had in years. Also, this place looks super spooky. You got any ghosties in chat? I hope not. Ooh. All right, Peach. Time for you to walk the flank. Um. All right. Why did I need this box? Curious. Hold on. What Mario doesn't know won't hurt him. Look, Peach is her own woman. She does not belong to Mario. We know this already. Die! Ah, just coins. I'm happy that they put something there. <laughs> ah. Is that a bully? Is that a heckin' round boy? Let me tell you, probably one of my favorite enemies from Mario 64 ever. Ah! No! Nice jump. Pretty good! <laughs> Pretty good. I actually don't like playing as Peach all that much because she's so floaty. I just gotta get used to her after playing as Toad last time. I just love that they brought back the bullies in this game. She jumps so high by default. I'm just I'm just tapping the button. She's already clears the entire bully. Don't like that. I've just been bullied! Huh! Now, now, this is a no bullying stream. Uh, I'm gonna have to send the mods after yous. Sorry, that's just how it is. Uh, slash ban bully. Don't get me started on the freezy bullies. What are they called? The chili? The chilies? I wanna say they're called chilies, but Nintendo's not that clever. Maybe I'm thinking of an enemy in Banjo 2 or something. No kiss and tell. Secrets. Dooba dee ba dooba. You're the youngest sibling, so on principle you have to side with Luigi. The younger sibling by like however many seconds or minutes because they're technically twins. We know this from the Yoshis. 
I've got a feeling. Secrets abounds. I'm waiting for there to be some sort of payoff from skipping these blocks. But I guess not. Huh, I guess the payoff was just skipping this entire segment. But I don't know if there's any stars. Stars. I greatly feel there must be a star down here. Get out of here, peepos. Peepo, peepo, everybody peepo. Oh, they do be kind of cute though. Out of all the, out of all the Mario enemies, I'm surprised that it doesn't seem that boos and peepos and all the other ghosts. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't get as much merchandise, right? Got him. Ooh, I'm out of here. Talk about a low budget flight. No food or movies. Bully. Get out of here. No Rockstar games. No bully. No Grand Theft Auto. Not even ping pong. Not allowed. Not in this stream. No baby. No baby. How loyal is Mario to Peach? You see how he looks at Pauline. I hear, I hear he's been in other kingdoms, like Sarasa Land, saving princesses like Daisy. Oh my, how scandalous. Mario, how could you? You know Daisy's Luigi's princess. Uh, I was saying earlier that I was really inspired to draw Daisy uh, yesterday, but I didn't end up doing it. Still planning to though. Just because of her appearance in Mario Golf with the golfing outfit. She got that desert tan going. Oof. Pretty good. Pretty good. Surprising lack of peepos. No peepos. Not even Pepe peepos. You know what? Shark, you're right. Here's what I want to do. I want to make emotes on Better Twitch TV. And they're just peepo versions of all the Pepe emotes that start with peepo. And people will get confused, like, why is this a ghost? Oh, wait, those are called Peepos. <sighs> so that's why we didn't get Bully too. Peach killed them all. Rest in Peepo. <laughs> Rest in Peepo. Pretty good. Um, What was I talking about? I was talking about Daisy, and that distracted me. As it tends to do. <laughs> Oops. Your favorite open world by Rockstar. And I never played it, but I heard it's fantastic. Rockstar has gone on record saying, Oh, one of these. <laughs> I love this little precursor to the... Oh, oh. I've never noticed that this makes a three-dimensional hand. Woohoo! Look, it's fire. Right here. I am pointing. My finger points. Ooh. Why is what why, why does my hand feel so painful? Can I oh 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 <laughs> Oh who's a good little princess? You are you are who's a good princess? Not you! No! You're not Princess Daisy, get out of here. <laughs> I didn't know they put Master Hand in the Mario game. <laughs> oh no. It's okay. It's just one of those little, um, just one of those little, uh, no, no, no. Those gentle pushes, like when your cat gets up on your desk. Like, no, you're not allowed here. I promise it's nothing bad. <laughs> Oops. Look at her in the shell outfit, though. She rocking it. She got the drip. Okay, wondering why there's a little hidden area here. I like this precedent that Mario 3D World sets. Uh, going back to game design. So in Mario World, they kind of introduce the idea that ghost houses are the levels where everything gets all tricky, and in order to beat the level properly, you have to do something different than you normally would. I say this having not really played Mario Brothers 3, so if ghost houses first appeared in that, I am very sorry for saying they first started in Mario World. But when it comes to 
this game, the way that they introduced ninja houses as a sort of alternative to ghost houses. I love, I love the little experimental design here. It's one of those things that uh, surprised me about this game. When it first came out, I was talking about this earlier. People thought like, oh, it's just 3D land, but on a, on a, on the Wii U. It's totally not going to be a mainline Mario game in any fashion. No, no, no. No, no, no. This game has a lot of love put into it, and I'm glad that people now have a chance to play it because of the Switch port. Oh. We're halfway there. I can grab these with a the hand. Master hand. I gotta be, I gotta be using this more. It also reveals like hidden stuff. Good peach. Good peach. I decapitated the Goombas and I wore their faces as a trophy. As you do. <laughs> Threats. This is an interesting challenge. Actually using the cursor to keep yourself alive. That's unique. Don't think it would work out too well. But it somehow still like manages manages the function. Pretty good. Sorry, I've I've got Rick Roll on the mind. Somebody made a AI generated um, 4K upscale 60 frames per second version of Rick Roll. Memes aside, it's a good song. <laughs> but also memes aside, hold on, I want to make sure that there isn't like a star I'm missing down here. Whoa. Ah, this seems integral to my progress. Like, why is there a spike up there? There seems to be more castle up top because you can fly. That's the goal. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, not doing that. I strongly feel I've missed the second star, but that's okay. I will try to collect things, but I'm not going to beat myself too much about it. You betrayed me! Now face the wrath of the son of a shepherd! I made that joke already. It's on my mind. Hey! Hey! Enough! My timer runs out in the morning! Oh! The cursor actually messed me up there. Get out of here! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Nope. All right, we gotta go. Speedy speed boy. Gasoline burning. Speedy speed boy. As but as I can be. Yes, yes, yes. Third star? I knew it. No time to lose. Working to keep yourself alive. So I would talk more about this, but I'm running out of time. Uh, you see this fish? I don't know what they're properly called, but in a lot of like tourist media, the golden dragonfish that are on top of a roof, they're called dolphins. I'm not kidding. At least like anytime when I went to Japan, anytime you see a um the golden whatever fish on top of a roof, they call them they call them porcelain they call them dolphins, not porcelains. They call them I don't know. Does anybody know the proper name for these things? Google is telling me Shachi Hoko. Shachi Hoko. Shachi Hoko. Literally called uh, dolphins. They're all over the place. They're like on every castle. Once you visit one castle in Japan, you've kind of visited them all, but they're always so nice to see. Dolphin of Nagoya Castle. I've been in this one. Fit to screen. I like that they made them cheap cheeps. <laughs> yeah, the cheap cheeps. Well, yeah, in the, in this game they're cheap cheeps, but gold. But they're heavily based on this. 
a uh, little Japan trivia for you. Aren't they nice? So keep that in mind. Uh, it's really cool uh, to visit a castle in Japan. Because a lot of them had to be rebuilt from scratch. Or like... Renovated over time. Because if they had just kept the actual wood from way back in however many hundreds of years ago, there's no way they'd be still be standing today. So I can't blame them for it. Taking the uh, stance that, you know what? Even if we had to replace every single plank and piece of paper wall bit by bit, we can still call it in spirit the same castle. Like the ship of Theseus. You replace every piece of a ship with something different. Is it the same ship? They've had an answer. Japan's had an answer for that for so many years. Joe Cube, welcome to Egg. America Online, hope you're doing good. Welcome to me talking about Japan. Because anytime I see Japan in the video game, I just have to talk about it. Die! 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 Pretty good! Good job, Peach. Good job. Sounds like the Notre Dame. I, I don't know what's going on with that. Did they... Have they finished, like, rebuilding it? After the, that fire that happened recently? It's really good that they had a contingency plan. Because, of course, they'd have to. Or what if. Like, what things to save from the Notre Dame. It sucks that they had to enact it. But at the very least, they were able to save as much as they could. Um, when it comes to these castles, some of them really have been rebuilt because, you know, um, they had, were destroyed in certain wars, so they kind of had to be built again from scratch, and they, they do a good job, like, keeping all the building techniques, like, building it the exact way it was built at the same time. It's really cool. Uh, but if you just come on in and welcome, how you doing? Did you guys like the Nintendo Direct yesterday? That's our question of the day. What thing are you most excited for coming out of that? Cat Peach! Cat Peach! Got any cats in chat? <laughs> They're still working on it. Uh, the Notre Dame. Stone by stone. Well, uh-oh. Oh, I realize this is one of those missions where I have to keep up with the raft. Oh, that's not good. It's like I'm playing raft. Uh, I haven't played raft in a while. Ah! Dang. I just realized that there are like several rafts, so it doesn't particularly matter if I miss one. Sleepy boy. Good, good, good. Wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> nice. Wait a minute, I'm not falling for that trap. Here we go. Gotcha! Whee! Pretty sure I missed a star by now, but that's okay. Hey! Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Good! Four, uh, five, six, seven, eight! Second star! Got it. You're glad they're gonna keep the Notre Dame the same. I would imagine. This is definitely not the occasion they should use as an excuse to upgrade it or anything like that. Not that I ever think they should. They should not. One of those things that should stand as a testament to history. Even if it was badly designed. And I was, what, what I was about to say about uh, the castles in Japan. They made it a point to document exactly how the wood all fits together to create the structural integrity of the castle. They have little models you can see in like the museums. Hold on, I'm gonna check something before I go in this box. <laughs> yep, yep, knew it. Easy. Pretty good. Got the stamp, only missing one star. That's fine. If I get at least two stars in every level, I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Goku's excited for speed golf. Looks hectic. It's. I'm surprised no other golf video game has ever done that before. 
and I'm hoping that they have it available online so I can just like play chaos golf with all my friends. <laughs> it's like it's a fun little idea. I like it. Like Super Smash Golfers. Uh, World End Club looks neat. I'm liking it. It's already out on PC, but I don't know if it is like a full game. I heard it like released on Apple, the Apple whatever program. So it was only like half the game, like Shantae. Rye Fry, what's up? Is the bundle worth the money? Uh, if you haven't played Mario 3D World before, I'd say it is absolutely worth it. Uh, Bowser's Fury on its own, I don't... I, I'll say it's probably one of the best Mario experiences I've had in recent times. Like, I'm not going to directly <laughs> compare it to Odyssey, but I'm having as much fun with Bowser's Fury, Fury, Bow, Bowser's Fury as I did with Odyssey. So that might be saying a lot. It just doesn't last as long as Odyssey. Here we go. <laughs> I love his little tuna can. Get out of here, Night Bully. You can see him going in the background. Yeah, we did this fight in, in Bowser's Fury, so like I realize how it works. Can I just take a second to say these graphics are fantastic? I, I didn't finish them off because I want you guys to see. Look. Oh, don't look. Just fight. He's got the reflection of the checkerboard on him. Either RTX is on or that's just a very... Very particularly mapped cube map. Pretty good. Uh, if it's if you haven't played 3D World, I say get it because it's a better game than than people expected back when it first came out. If you have, maybe wait for a sale, just on pure value alone. But Bowser's Fury is fantastic. Uh. We're talking about ancient architecture. I don't know if you could really call Notre Dame and uh, those Japanese castles ancient per se. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, thing about story mode is... So, World's End Club, I'm definitely gonna get. Because I'm interesting. I'm interested how close to Danganronpa it is in terms of story. I don't expect too much out of it as a game. Because it just looks like a platforming action game. Not to say that, like, devalues it. It's just, there's only so much you can do with that. It's, it's just very Danganronpa. It is, like, that pie, I forgot what it's called. Pie, 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 What's her name? Penelope? I'm Pyrone? Absolutely just Monokuma, but, like, in fairy form. Uh, are we talking about Mario Golf? Uh, yeah, I have hopes for the story mode, hoping that it allows Camelot to flex their RPG creation muscles, but we'll see what happens with that. Da, 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 da. Disney movie helped Notre Dame a lot. Well, I'm glad that whatever the reason, people are engaged in preservationary movements like that. Just one last thing about those uh, castles that get rebuilt, I was gonna say. It's like... It's... I don't know, speaking as an engineer, I'm fascinated by how you basically take an entire tree, carve it like a Lincoln Log kind of thing. Not exactly, but the concept is similar. You carve it in a certain way that all the pieces interlock, and without using any sort of mortar or adhesive... <laughs> don't know what you'd really call it. A structure as large as a castle could just stand on its own. And they figured that out back in the... days of, like, old Edo, Japan, so very impressive. Conveyor belts, I always like this level. Verticality that doesn't make you feel bad for uh, falling. Something that you can only do in 3D. Like, compare this to a Lech Man stage from Mega Man. You fall, you fall like three screens. And it just feels bad, man. You have to climb all the way back up. 
But see here, since you're also always moving in to the three-dimensional depth, you don't lose as much progress for falling. Whoa! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Did someone say Mario Golf? Yeah. New Mario Golf game. If it comes out, you guys want to play it? Just saying. Is it still Camelot? You know, I didn't actually see if it was Camelot or not, but I ex I pretty sure it is. They're the only ones that actually make all the Mario Sports games. But I can't say it for sure. Anyone else think that Skyward Sword HD doesn't look HD? Looks like the Wii version of Mario Control. Like, I don't expect them to do much else than what they did for Mario Galaxy. Just bring the game over wholesale. Not exactly emulation, but... No real updates to the graphics. I'm okay with that. The game already looks fantastic with its stylistic kind of... What do you call that? Art Deco? Uh, watercolor style? Something like that? It'd be cool if they, you know, upgraded the polygons a little bit. But the, here's, here's what Nintendo does with remakes. They don't go like... Crash Trilogy and remake the game from scratch. They just... Kind of take the original code and port it over. And, you know, people are arguing whether or not that's worth $60. And you can freely say it's not. That's up to you. That is for you to decide as a consumer. I can't tell you it's worth it or not. I can only tell you what my feelings are. And my feelings are... Uh... I'm down to play it again. In an official way. So I'm paying for that. I'm paying for uh, playing it in HD resolution, even though the rest of the graphics aren't really updated. And also the fact that if I stream it, then I can... This is a little... I'm just gonna be transparent about this. If I stream it, I can write it off of my taxes. <laughs> it's funny, but I'm that's on my mind right now because I gotta do my taxes for Twitch. But that's totally legally, like... What people do, it's an expense for this quote-unquote business that I'm doing. It feels very uh, cold and corporate to say it like that, but that's the reality of it. I'm having fun. I'm enjoying it. I'd buy them anyway. It's just something I can do. And if you're a streamer out there, you shouldn't feel bad. It's not like a lie or anything. That's literally what a business expense is. You're buying it, streaming it. You're buying it to be a part of your stream, you know? Look at me, a business chicken. But that's just my opinion on it. You feel free to think differently. Uh, just saying nobody should feel ashamed for that. Uh, other Zelda remakes look noticeably different. Uh, true. When it comes to uh, Wind Waker HD and Twilight Princess HD. I'm thinking they didn't have that much time. Yeah. I'm thinking they didn't have that much time to really port them over. With Twilight Princess HD and uh, Wind Waker HD, that was more of them experimenting. Learning how HD game production works. With this, it's totally... You know it's 100%. Get it out by the 30th anniversary so that people don't get mad that Breath of the Wild 2 isn't out. So, with that time restriction, I don't think they could have done the same thing. Would I love- would I have loved it to have updated graphics? Absolutely. It would be way more worth it if so. Da da da. You wish they'd make a bundle for their, all the Mario Sports games. Uh, I just want Nintendo to give Camelot the freedom to do whatever they want. Because it feels like we haven't had a Golden Sun in forever, because it really hasn't. And Mario Tennis Aces was severely rushed. And it's something that nobody really talks about, but I have a very strong feeling that that Mario Tennis game for the Wii U was cannibalized in order to make Mario Tennis Aces. Because if you play both of those games, you realize they are each missing what the other game has. Good. Good skate. Now I have to now I have to do the ultimate path. Now I see why there's this alternate path at all. You botched the, the ice skate. Hold on, let me uh, make sure chat's going on.
Sorry guys, there's I have a lot of feelings about video games and thank you for <laughs> indulging on me. Dusty Kuga, what's up? Sorry if I didn't catch you coming on in. Yeah, look, give you all the Zeldas on Switch already. Fair! It may be worth it to you just to have the game on Switch. And if that is worth the $60 for you, then that's fair. It's all subjective. Wait a minute! Sneaky, sneaky. These cloud enemies unsettle me. Mostly because they look like, uh, I don't know, Chris Redfield from Resident Evil 8. Their chins. Oh, ah! And this is why I saved the cat bell. Ow. Uh, you're not a programmer, you think making a new control mode and probably revamping motion controls should take a while. It absolutely can, and that's probably what's taking all their effort and why they can't really... Like, they're focusing on things that are... that change the gameplay. Which is probably why they don't... they're not spending the time to change things like the graphics. Uh, it... Uh, And besides that, too, uh, think about this. The programmers that would work on changing the, the controls aren't really the programmers that would work on updating the graphics. They might be a completely different set of people. So maybe it's a matter of Nintendo doesn't have or doesn't want to spend the resources. To hire people for those roles. I don't know. I don't work at Nintendo. I'm not your uncle. I am not an uncle, nor do I work at Nintendo. So I can't say for sure. I can only say my experiences as a programmer myself. It's always a balance of money and time versus the features that they want to put in. You can never really say... You can never really claim laziness as a blanket reason for anything. Because in certain contexts, laziness is a good thing when it comes to programming. One person's laziness is another person's efficiency. Are there at times corners that are cut? Yes. Can we ever say for sure what the reasons are? Not really. That's all I can really say about that. Goombas! There we go. I may be small, but I have a shoe. Ah, uh, can I get another one? Maybe in size 10? This one's too small. This one's too big. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1! Game! This game's winner is... Marth! Mina! Mite kure! Is that Yuri Lowenthal? What? <laughs> With how great Camelot's legacy is for making RPGs, The Shining Games of Golden Sun, they haven't made one in 11 years. That is the saddest thing. I'm totally with you on that one. Sprint would either have no, money, no announcements rather than have them too many announcements and leading them to pushing back games like Cyberpunk. There's that Miyamoto quote that's not really a Miyamoto quote for sure. Uh, a good game is, a delayed game is eventually good. A bad game is bad forever, which no longer really applies. And Miyamoto never really said. Uh, no, doesn't really apply in the age of post-release uh, updates. But I think the theory, I think like the original idea and spirit is something that should be kept. Like, more and more uh, companies like CD Projekt Red, sadly, I'm sad that I have to say that about CD Projekt Red, because for the longest time, people were like, oh, this is the company that can do no wrong. Nope. Nope. Like every other company, they can be subject to bad management, and they're not the exception. Um, more and more often, games are getting pushed back. Yay! Yay! Got everything. Good. Wait a minute! Oh, da, 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 da. Peach's float does not reset on a wall jump. Good. Well, we got all the stars, so we're just gonna speed run through. <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, uh, my point is... Too many game companies are relying on updates after release to hit deadlines like, Oh, get this out before Christmas. And that's 
No good. That's all I can really say. That's no good. I think everybody can agree there. Could they have... What they, what they could have done to mitigate that is up for debate. Even with the amount of times they delayed it, in hindsight, I think everyone will agree that if it wasn't done, don't release it. And I think the developers just lose sight of that these days. Da -da 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 -da. It's also a difficult time to make a full production game. But with everybody having to work from home and the lack of communication, definitely feel that as a programmer myself. Just earlier this year, we had to do self-evaluations uh, for our job, for my job, for our jobs. Big pain point among all the other developers at my company. It's just hard to communicate. It's hard to work with each other. We have done things that try to make it easier, like having more meetings. Ah, it was the big present this time. I got you, Toad. I peep on you. Okay, which one do I want? I don't need the Tanuki Leaf, so I'll get that first. I'm Peach, so I can just float on my own. Uh, Cat? Boomerang. Meow! Lowenthal does a voice in everything, even when you think he's not there! This is why I have this handy. <laughs> Sprint, is this the first time you're seeing this? This is... <laughs> when you showed... When you showed, uh, Dragon Quest your story on movie night on your discord I, I i do this so much with video games i did it so often in yakuza like a dragon i'm just i just make this i made this meme so i have it handy is this yuri lowenthal a little butterfly version of luca from that movie <laughs> yeah anytime i say that break it out i'll maybe maybe i'll even make it a meme Make it either, what do you think? Yosuke from Persona 4? Yuri Lowenthal? Maybe? Spider-Man? He's even in the Fallout games. The devs wanted to, no one was scanned. Well, it always goes even deeper than that. There have been many statements uh, put out by CG Project Red, supposedly all being transparent about who is responsible for not delaying enough, who is responsible for putting the game out in the state it's in. And it's too... It... I'm of the opinion that you cannot... It, it, you just can't. You just can't say anything definitively about it. Because any response they put out there could be seen as either damage control or a lie. There are people, like, just doubting everything that they say because they just don't trust CD Projekt Red at this point. So, it's up to you to really decide what to believe and not to believe. It, I... Which is... I'm just basically being agnostic with this. There's kind of no point to talk about it. I have my own opinions as well. Um, I have my own thoughts about, like, what may or may not be true of what was said. But I have no proof. Like, was it really the dev's decision to release it in an unfinished state? Because maybe they thought they could fix it by then? Or maybe they were just put on so much crunch time that they just wanted to be done with it to be over with it? Which, in that case, would, in my opinion, put the, put the onus back on business? There's just too many variables that you cannot prove. Peachy! The fact they didn't put out base console footage is scammy as it gets. It goes from multiple levels. When it comes to... a company... they may operate like a person as far as the law is concerned. But it's all just a bunch of people who are possibly scared to lose their jobs. The developers, because they don't want to, they don't want to feel like they're not working hard enough. The business people, because they don't want to feel like they've lied 
uh, they don't want to feel like they're not going to put out something that'll make money. The PR and advertising people don't want to feel like they're lying. But all of these come together at levels that are just like, well, what do I say? I don't want to say something bad. Nobody is outright lying. But it does feel like a lie when it all comes together. Like, not showing base console footage. Nobody at the dev team said, like, uh, oh yeah, it's done. But that'll probably work. <laughs> that is the equivalent of bowling and setting the ball down gently in the middle of the lane and giving it a little push. I don't think it's illegal to do in bowling. <laughs> but not very efficient. Wait a minute. Wait, can I just... Ha 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 ha! The cheese! I am the cheese. I am the basketball. Kobe! I'm the cheese and the greatest character on the show. I'm greater than the bologna and salami combined. Um, okay. Well, let me just get the last one because I'm focused on this. What? I love this. Oh, this is this feels like something you'd see in Mario Tennis. No! Too bad. I deserve that star. How dare you? Little Sprixy Sprite. At least you get to keep every star you collected so far. <laughs> uh, let me catch up on chat. Druda Man, how you doing? Welcome on in. Yeah! Da 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 da. Being shady. I don't think. I don't think anybody wanted to be shady. It's just what you do when you're when the pressure's on. A company's made up of different people who all made mistakes. They own up to them. People aren't gonna. There are people out there who will not accept their apologies. It's up to you whether or not you will. And I honestly do not care if you do or not. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to convince you. It's not my, it, it's not up to me. Just take what's out there for yourself and choose to believe whether or not they're sorry. Or if it's like South Park with the, with, with the, with the BP oil people and they're like, we're sorry. One. Oh, come on. Uh, am I gonna play Persona Strikers on stream? Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a reason that my schedule for these past few weeks has been get Yakuza 7 done as quickly as possible and then pretty much only play Mario 3D World. Because I know if I start anything like, I do got Pokemon trading card game, but that's just gonna be my retro stream, so I'm okay with doing that just once a week. Uh, I'm leaving my schedule open for Persona 5 Strikers to come and just take over everything, take my heart once again. I have it pre-ordered on PS5, it's gonna be great. Or PS4? PS4. I don't remember if there's a PS5 version though. Da, da, da. Hold on. Ah. Uh, Bradley Default 2. Oh, is that coming out next week? Dang. I haven't played the rest of the series, but I'm happy for you. The game's gonna be great. Wallet, please. This game looks tougher than you thought. The game, the game is fun. The game is tougher than I thought back when it first came out on Wii U. I know what to expect because I've already <laughs> Play this game, but definitely don't go in expecting nothing but a 3DS port, you know? What's good is that most of this is optional. First star, got good, 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 got it. Um, so 
Uh, quick little thing about Persona. I have already played Persona 5 regular, and I've heard that you do not need to know uh, Persona 5 Royal to play Strikers. So with that in mind, when I play Strikers, uh, anybody who doesn't know the story of Persona 5 will have to watch out uh, because I will be talking about spoilers for that game. I don't think there's... Oh, hi. Hammer bro, drop it in to say hello. Whoa! <laughs> Seeing as Strikers is a direct sequel to Persona 5, uh, from what I'm hearing, uh, I don't think there's a way to talk about it without saying Persona 5 spoilers, so... Uh, also, if you happen to be a mod <laughs> looking at you, Sprint, here's my official spoiler policy for Strikers. Anything that happens in regular 5, A-OK -okay to talk about when we play Strikers. Anything that happens in Royal, not OK. Because <laughs> I do not want to be spoiled on that as much as possible. Uh, that's, that's simply that all there is to that. Pretty good. Bravely Default, the Inheritor of Final Fantasy. I'm OK with that. I was just talking about this earlier when it comes to uh, triangle triangle strategy. Uh, Bradley Default, uh, Octopath Traveler. All made by the same team, I believe. All part of what the internet is calling Square Enix's Underline series. Because the logos for all of these games are just the title in a plain font with an underline. <laughs> So if that's where Square Enix is experimenting and putting their all, being more daring when it comes to games, then I love that there's a place for that to exist. I love that Square isn't totally abandoning the kind of games they started with. I think it was around like the PS2 era that I realized the square that made my favorite games like Chrono Trigger and Mario RPG just didn't really exist anymore. Final Fantasy X was great. 7, 8, 9, also great. What the heck? How am I supposed to have a bomb at this point? I can only imagine that's a stamp, so... Oh well. No Marie, so it's automatically not as good as 4. Hey now! I don't know, maybe Marie's in Royal. <laughs> Probably not. Hey. Ninjas. Skills! You think you a ninja? You don't even play Fortnite! Get out of here! Boom, boom! Wait a minute! Wait a minute, what's up, Bradfield? Also, we got a raid from Maddie Braun. What's going on? How's it going? Yellow a waffle box, thanks for the follow. I I need to stop because I said I wouldn't call them out out loud if people didn't want to be called out out loud. I just welcome on into the stream. How's it going? Uh hold on, let me catch up on chat. What's going on? Let's talk about the real big game. DC Superhero Girls! I don't know much about it, but I actually do like the comic art style. I've seen it before. I do a little bit of art on my spare time, and that's one of the things... That's one of the comic slash art styles that I've thought, like... Oh, you know what? Maybe I can copy a little bit of this as inspiration. Alright, uh, thanks for the raid, Maddie Braun. How's it going? How all are y'all? Uh, I gave a little bit of time in case anybody was stuck in an ad, but I see you were playing Mario 3D World. Hope you were having a good time. Welcome on in. How is everybody? Maddie Braun, how you doing? How's the stream? Waffle, how you doing? Uh, Kind High Wind, hello, hello. Welcome on in, Raiders. We're just talking about the Nintendo Direct because I'm playing a Nintendo game and having a lot of fun. Uh, I am not familiar with Maddie Braun, so welcome on in if you're new. Uh, may I ask how you found me? Probably from the category, I would imagine. Hope your stream went well. If you don't know me, my name is Chris. Also known as Manoka Dobo. We have a little chickeny stream going on here. And I am a variety streamer, which means I play lots of different kinds of games and I'm not good at any particular kind of them. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> no, no, no. What the heck? Yeah. How's it going? Call you out, out loud. Shout it out. To stand out above the crowd. Even if I gotta shout out loud. To mine is the only face you see. Gonna stand out. Do you notice me? What's up? Just trying to share the love. Well, welcome, welcome. I gotta gotta check you out sometime. Uh, have you played Mario 3D World before? I have, but it was when the game first came out, so I remember almost nothing. Having fun rediscovering it all over again. Motley Boss Blob. Ah, there's a missed opportunity here. They call, call him the Motley Goo. <laughs> Motley Goo. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Just got the stars and shines. Congratulations. Platinum status. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to do that, but not necessarily on stream. I'm just getting as much as I can right now. Yeah. Welcome on in. Uh, I am halfway through Bowser's Fury right now, if you're wondering my progress on that. Uh, we're giving it a break right now so I can play a little more of this. I'm enjoying both games. If we have some time later on, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll do a little more exploration in Bowser Fury. But yeah, uh, I usually play Nintendo games and or RPGs. So if that's your kind of thing, you know, follow buttons right there. <laughs> Motley Goo. <laughs> nice. Yeah. All right, Motley Goo, where are you? Oh, I like him. Kill Jester. Whoa! Google Chrome! Oh, I'm remembering now! He's woke! Uh, oh! I do not like... I am getting Sonic 06 flashbacks from this boss, by the way! Because of all the Chrome bubbles! They love having those in... Sonic 06? Oh, jeez. Tactical Clan, thanks for the hydrate. I'm not sure if I can do it right now. Sprint for thanks for, thanks for gifting us up to uh, Maddie Braun. Enjoy the emotes, grab a nest, and get comfy. I've made them all myself, just so you know. Yeah. You're wondering why the chicken theme. Uh, I can't really explain it, but you know, chicken's delicious, so I'll say it's that. Yeah. Hoi! I'm so glad that Twitch uh, did that update where ooh, affiliates have more ooh, uh, emotes. More opportunities to share all across Twitch. So if I may ask, Matty Braum, what kind of games do you usually play? I see you uh, like to do some Platinums yourself, maybe complete games. Completionist, huh? I'll let you know, I've seen THE Completionist, Javar Khalil, in real life. Unfortunately, like, not close enough to meet him. Just, uh, he happened to be paneling at an anime convention I went to once, and I saw him, like, across the room. I didn't even go to his panel, I just caught a glimpse of him. <laughs> so many peaches! Must be, uh... Mario's dream. Winning at the end of Mario Odyssey. Such a shame that the Double Cherry wasn't added to that game, huh? This'll work. Yeah, let me do that hydrate. Pretty good. Is it because I am a chicken? <gasps> Don't dox me like that, man. Update. Oh yeah, you didn't know this origination, uh, cause yeah, recent affiliate you. Oh you. But just a couple of years ago, Twitch used to only allow one emote, one emote per tier for Twitch affiliates. So my very first emote was Minoka Hoy, cause I wanted to make sure. Uh, this is something that I don't see a lot of people do on Twitch. But if you want people to use your emotes, uh, follow this creed. The emote not only has to be something meme-worthy, because some people just slap on whatever's latest meme, and that works, but you know, when the meme dies out, so will the emote. It's gotta be something that does convey an emotion. So even if it's just a lol, even if it's just a hi, yeah, sure, there are emotes for that on Twitch already, but these are yours. These are special. These are ones that maybe people will like to use instead of the given emotes on Twitch. You got your own pod champ. You got your own high. Look at that origination. High five. Nice. Pretty good. 
Uh, Maddie Bronze all over the place. Variety, variety, very good. All about 100%. Nice. That's something I'm not ready to subject myself to on stream. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations for that. Beauty World throws a curveball at the end you weren't ready for. Oh, if this is your first time playing. This is something that Nintendo's been doing for a while. I think starting with 3D Land. Uh, they've been giving you these fake out endings where it feels like the game is over and you've beaten the final boss. And then they add on another world. Then when you beat that, you think you're done, but they add another world. <laughs> And long story short, uh, the game actually gets hard by the end. I actually like that a lot. Because what they're doing is they're giving people who may not be a completionist, who may not be totally skilled with games, uh, a sense of accomplishment. One up. They can say, yeah, I beat the game, even though they're maybe halfway done with the content. Nintendo's been experimenting more and more with like accessibility, and I, that's a cool way to do it, in my opinion. Wait a minute! We got a raid from Ray Ray Senpai. How you doing? Ray Ray, how's it going? It's been a while. What are you playing? Among Us! Among Us! Sorry, uh, for memeing. Oh, that sounds amazing. Were you playing a. Were you doing like a community night? We just got a raid from Maddie Braun, now we got a raid from Ray Ray. Uh, fellow team, not fellow, because I am not a member of Team Mochi, but just like Brad, a member of Team Mochi. Full of wonderful, wonderful people, all of them. As far as I know. <laughs> Feel free to prove me wrong, but uh, one of the uh, most comfy stream teams out there on the Twitch. Hold on, let me see if I can get on top of this sloppy boy. Well, come on in, Raiders, let me get to you in a second. How's it going? How you doing? Welcome all in. I'm just talking about stream emotes and whatnot. Uh, Puzzling Shutterbug, what's up, Astros Gamer? Uh, Ray Ray, how's it going? Hope you all had fun. Palm Star, what's up? Yeah, who was sus? Question of the day to you, to you all specifically. Who was the most sus? And why? Why is it always the streamer? Mary Moo, hope you're well. Oh, I love one of these. Yeah, you were drawing, playing Among Us? Ooh! Love me a good art stream as well. We definitely have a, a few artists in the chat. For sure. Dang it! Can I do that again? Please? Reset. You love this game, beat it when it came out. Same here, I barely remember anything though. I did not 100% it when it came out, uh, for those of y'all coming from the Maddie Braun stream. Ooh, I think I know what I gotta do here. If I gotta... If I have to trap it on the right side so it loses all of its rightward momentum, it'll be a slower going down to the lower level. That might be it. Huh. Um, sure? Whoa! Big brain! 200 IQ. But uh, yeah, I was actually just talking about uh, how I've been wanting to do a little art of myself, of my own, not myself. Who wants to see a chicken? Nobody. But uh, the games that were revealed on the Nintendo Direct kind of inspired me. And by the games that were revealed, I mean specifically Princess Daisy. Don't worry about it. Wait a minute! Sneaky! The far pipe leads to the inner pipe. Jeez. Uh, what did you draw, Ray Ray, if I may ask? <laughs> I'm curious. What inspires you? For me, it's always video games. Da -da -dun -da -dun. Meme Tochi! Yeah, Meme Tochi. Memes! Yeah! Pretty much describing post-game. Yeah! It's an interesting way to frame it. Because it also deals into how much uh, we're just talking about uh, how this game did that fake out where oh you beat the game no you didn't um, they do a little fake out for you oh I see you I see you you're a platform to me <laughs> everyone is sus in Sonora I uh it's Sonora the lit I like that name 100% agree with that. Um, 
Chatterbug's awesome, how is me? Oh, you know, just playing the Marios. If y'all are new to the stream, uh, welcome. My name is Chris, if you can't pronounce Mano Kadobo. I play a lot of Nintendo games and RPGs. Used to play a lot more visual novels in the past. Uh, but that ended up straining up my voice. But hey, if you like Ace Attorney, I'm always down to play one of those. Objection! A little passion for voice acting here and there. If you can tell by the amount of money I've spent on a microphone. Oh! Yeah! Da, 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 da. Rary, uh... Don't know what she was drawing. Wait, let me see if anybody, uh... Yeah. Hit you with a cross-up. One, two, three. Dang it! Almost. I said this last time, but the tip for this minigame... It's actually a rhythm game. Just hit the blocks to the beat, and they will match up if you if your rhythm is on cue. Um, but going back to talking about uh, completion, they frame it as post game, and that is genius. Uh, to me, to somebody who maybe not a completionist, but just wants to continue playing games until I am satisfied with them, I just see the levels after the fake out ending as just more content. Um, they are harder than the levels that come before. Uh, they are very fulfilling when you do beat them. So by putting those behind the fake out ending, they're framing it as post con uh, post game content so that people will not feel bad if they don't do those. Like that is just optional stuff. And that's totally fine. This is, that's kind of the same thing they did with Mario Odyssey, where some of the moons you get in the early game are literally walk two steps, get a moon. Uh, jump on this platform, get a moon. To a lot of people, it kind of devalued moons, and I can't blame them for that. But their philosophy was just reward people who stick it out to the end. I, I think they did do a did go a little far when it comes to making the beginning of a game accessible. Like, we don't want games to feel like they're belittling us. But I agree with the sentiment. I agree with the ideas. Dooby dooby dooby. I can't wait until one of these are actually a bottomless pit and then I walk into it. Dooby dooby dooby. Uh, Mary Moo's husband and yet 100% of the Wii U version. Nice. Congratulations. It's most yeah, it's mostly to um each game's credit. Whether or not I decide to 100 percent it. Excuse me, yeah, yeah. Had some taco yaki for dinner. It's not sitting well. Oops. But uh let's say for Mario Galaxy, 100 percent of it, then 100 percent of it with Luigi. Because that game was so fantastic. Thanks for the follow. Ooh! Saved it! Did you see that last minute? Pressing on the jump button. You could barely... From this angle, you could barely, like, recognize what I did there. But as soon as I drifted off of the platform, just hold that button. That's Smash Instinct right there. Y'all like Smash Brothers? Y'all... What do y'all think about uh, the new character for the Smash? DLC. While we're on that topic. Do I do it? Brad's going to bed. Yeah, thanks for kind of dropping on by, Brad. Hope you had a good time. Guys, Brad. One of my uh, closest friends, even before uh, streaming on Twitch. Maybe not exactly, because I didn't know him all that well, but now! I can confidently say he's an upstanding gentleman who has definitely been a big inspiration for me, whether he recognizes it, recognizes it or not in both streaming and life. And I cannot recommend him enough. Go check him out as well. If you like Ray Ray, also a member of Team Mochi. New member, by the way, Red Bean Mochi. Pretty good. Ace Attorney is great. Ray Ray was drawing emotes, nice. Oh, I don't know if you're still here, Ray Ray, but did you unlock a new emote slot? Nice. I'm, I'd be down to see what you come up with. Let me know. Or I guess I'll see them soon enough, huh? Takoyaki has eggs in it! <gasps> Good. 
Good source of protein, huh? Protein! Have a good night, Brad, if you're still here. If not, sleep well. Sleep tight. Yosh. Don't let the Yoshis bite. Da -da 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 -da. Indifferent to Pyra? I can see that, uh... Maybe people aren't as excited for another sword character. Literally a sword character. She is a sword, and also a character. Uh, for me? Uh, my feeling summed up, is summed up as, I'm surprised they weren't already a character. So depending on how you feel about that, is probably where uh, a lot of feelings about Pyra and Mithra lie. Like, would you rather the quote-unquote slot go to somebody unique? Which I think Pyra mechanically is going to be a unique character. I vastly prefer Pyra over adding Rex per se. Uh, it's really funny to me that they laugh shaded like, oh, I should have been in Smash! I could have shown him a thing of three! But uh, it looks like the switching mechanic is gonna be like how Zelda and Sheik used to be, and how a uh, Pokemon trainer is now, where you just press down B and you'll switch. So I'm excited that they're bringing that back. Outside of Pokemon Trainer, it felt like they were going to just leave that by the wayside. Nice that Xenoblade gets a rep. It is one of Nintendo's new quote-unquote series that ended up getting way po more popular than they expected. So I can't blame them. Ooh, ha, hey, whoa. Wait a minute, we got another raid. I wasn't saying wait a minute to the raid, but I'm saying it now. I'm having a cow. I'm trying to catch up with chat while I'm playing a game. It's not easy being green. It's not easy being a meme, but I'll get to you in a second. Just wait until I am not in danger of dying. Ooh. Uh, welcome on in raiders. Whoever you are. <laughs> oh. Here we go. Top shelf, lads. Easy. New Iki, how's it going? Thank you for the raid. What were you playing? Welcome on in, everybody. If you are not familiar with all the people who have been raiding tonight, uh, give each other follows. All of y'all. Because y'all are pretty good. You've gotten raids from Maddie Braun and Ray Ray Senpai. And Nuiki. And earlier on, we got raids from Origination. And I think that's it. <laughs> Yosh! Rex got crumbed. <laughs> Nuiki, we're just talking about, you know, the direct because anybody who's a Nintendo fan, of course, will be talking about it for a while. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what are you excited for? For the direct. Rex got crumbed. I saw somebody make a meme. Uh, just. Editing Rex's face into that image of Krom from the uh, Lucina reveal trailer. And then just doing his voice. I'll have my chance someday. Oh. Let's show him a thing of free. Shutterbug hasn't played Xenoblade. You're not sure what he's like as a character. Could be fun to play. Uh, I haven't played it either. So I am not going to make any judgments. Um, I just know she's popular, and she looks like she could be uh, unique as a character, despite the fact that she uses a sword. So, we'll see. How many more slots of DLC are left? Wondering. Because in my mind, I thought there was only one left after this one, but some people are saying two. New Wiki was playing Monster Hunter World. New Wiki plays a lot of Monster Hunter World because Monster Hunter is a good series. I'm excited for Rise. I asked you about that last time. Uh, what were you fighting today, Nuiki? Which uh, Monster Hunter monster? Legend of Mana. We're talking about that. I know Thank Twig's excited for that. Oh, geez, there are a lot. Fire! Fire! I'm surprised that I have not lost my Katsu yet. No damage, baby! Yay! Uh, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, I just randomly tangented into Smash and whatnot. Uh, my instincts 
for uh, saving myself with that float as Peach were because I main Daisy and Peach and Smash alongside Snake. So I just have this innate reaction. I'm off the stage. Use my float. Bum ba dum bum bum ba. Two DLC slots left. All right. So I am saving myself a little bit of grief by not thinking them as slots left, even though they kind of are. Uh, something that I think is making a lot of people angry. That. One of those things you gotta just turn your thinking around on is these characters are taking up slots that would have otherwise gone to other characters. And the thing is, Nintendo already decided who all these DLC characters are. Sakurai said as much. So, like, don't get angry at them now. Get angry at them a year ago? I don't know if that makes sense. I will fully admit that at times I can be a Nintendo apologist. Just falling further and further behind on the platform. I don't think I could have uh, outrun that unless I was Toad. Dun dun dun. You're learning some new weapons tonight in Monster Hunter. That's always fun. Trying to see things, uh, trying to get a new perspective on the game. I'm glad that there, there's multiple valid ways to play Monster Hunter like that. You could stick to a weapon and just use that the entire game. Or you could, uh, just see what else is out there. Beauty of Monster Hunter is that you can play however you like. Pick a weapon, what speaks to you. Like picking a different main in a fighting game. Ooh. Ah, ah. Good. Okay. Legend of Mana gonna be a hype. You wish that online co-op, does it not? Oh. Nintendo's getting better at making their games co-op online. Because more and more people are asking for that. But things like ports of PS1 games are kind of out of their control, fortunately. Uh, Queen Miku's gonna go to bed. You've been staying up. Have a good night, Miku. Sorry if I missed that. Lots of lots of lots of stuffs going on in Chan. I'm trying to catch up as, as much as I can. Thank y'all for bearing with me. I just hope everybody knows that y'all are valid. And if I don't read your message in chat, I, I'm only one person. I'm trying to get as much of it as I can while still playing. I know I can just like stop and talk to y'all. I feel like I'm also doing a disservice to people who also just want to see the game too. I'm I'm keeping a pace to what I would like if I were watching the stream, I'm gonna say. Nintendo Legend of Mammoth listed two player doesn't say online. Yeah. They're not handling the port, so. As far as I know. So. If they're handling code from a PS1 game that has undoubtedly been lost to ages and decompiled from the PS1 CD, I can't blame them. PS1 games have to do a lot of tricks to even just run. You wanna play with games with your friend if he's in Nevada and you're in a winter wasteland? Not a winter wonderland and no fun to be had, Terland. We are Wow, very fancy, Peach. A little show off. <laughs> that she is. We stand it for it. One person. You're not. You're saying I'm not a hive mind of chickens in a trench coat? Dang. I can't steal that. That's a desert pagonis thing. Look at this platform. I love that this design has been a thing in Mario games, whether it be Mario Party or that second Bowser boss battle. The tilting platform. And just with time, it's gotten even better. Da 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 da. Brad's gonna knock out soon. Oh! Yeah, man, thanks for coming on by. I know that your schedule can get kind of hectic at times. Uh, you say, right! Uh, if you guys don't know, game's done quick. 
and uh, ESA, which the acronym for is escaping me right now. Escaping from uh, someone's authority. What? But uh, Brad has been hosting for both events, and uh, you guys like voices. His is as smooth and buttery as an entire brick of margarine. I can't believe it's not Bradder. <laughs> Go check him out. He's been hosting. You know, the thing where they uh, read all the donations. So if you wanted to say something funny and embarrassing, just donate money to a good cause. It's a win-win situation. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Everyone go check out ESA Marathon at noon uh, Pacific. Yeah, baby. PDST. PDST? I feel like that's an oxymoron. Pacific Daylight Standard Time. Is, is it Daylight or Standard? Uh, I believe we are on Standard right now, so I think it would be PST. I want to fight the bully. European Speedrun Alliance. Ah, yes, that's the one. Thank you, Joe Cube. I'm a single chicken in a trench coat made to <laughs> made to wear tailor-made. Think I got that kind of money? I spend it all on magic cards. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Brother, it's been too long. I'm you. I'm your shadow. Ooh, fiery breath. That's hot. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. Issei Marathon to play the B-movie game? Really? Uh, I've seen speedruns for the B-movie game. Apparently, they don't even make any sense. Assembly. Can't be wrong if you say PDST. These changes in time zones are gonna give me PTSD. I'm sorry, that... That joke, uh... I don't think it's particularly... I don't intend it to be offensive in any way, but it could actually be offensive to people who have real trauma. From things like, you know, actual war. So I try not to take that kind of stuff lightly. Ba -da 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 -da. That's why I started saying it. Honestly, uh, I'm in California and we recently had that vote to not be on Daylight Savings anymore. It passed, but... California decided we're not sure how to implement it because both Hawaii and Arizona have done away with daylight savings time time changes but they both handle in different ways one of them is always on daylight savings time and the other is always on standard time to a relative to their time zone I think Nintendo uh, Nintendo Nintendo California <laughs> Nintendo's in charge of daylight savings time clearly if they asked for it in Pokemon gold and silver Uh, California wanted to do it one day and then backtracked and wanted to do it the other way and now we're not sure. So, eh. Did Nevada also vote for it? I need to look up what they're doing with that. If they ever decided. Baby shark do 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 Baby shark do 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 Shark's gonna kill me do 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 Shark. There was a baby shark VR. There's a baby shark VR game? Tell me more. Tell me more, tell me more. I'ma get this green star. Tell me more, tell me more. It's going very far. Peach? Peach, descend faster. Oh. All right, I'm gonna have to <laughs> wait till it comes back around. Tooby dooby dooby. Da 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 da. Very default director wanted to make an RPG that would let all RPGs remember the way they like the game. Starts coming. Yeah. Gotcha. I think I think bigger game companies are slowly learning. Slowly learning that life's okay. Say unto me. Sorry. Um they're slowly learning how to be game companies first again. Cause for a long time, it's all about tra microtransactions and Games as a service and making the most money they can off of repeat purchases. And I'm not gonna pretend that these good, more traditional games coming out excuse them. These little tadpoles! I don't remember them at all! They're angie! They're just babies and they're so angie! 
Don't worry, little tadpoles. I will free you from this tortured existence. Mercifully. Oh, that's terrible. Da 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 da. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Uh, but I guess my point is, I'm just happy that we're getting good video games, and that's all I really cared about. I've kind of stopped looking into games that are triple A just because they have big trailers and advertisement. I've actually kind of just stopped watching trailers. And I just let word of mouth, watching streams, and whatnot advertise games for me. Because that's how I, that's how I found games to play back when I was a kid. Besides, nah, besides uh, Nintendo Power. And you know, I enjoy games a lot more because of that. Personally. May not work out for you. That's up to you. But I find like, getting too hyped ahead of time. Setting too many expectations. It's just... Not where I want to be when it comes to gaming news. That's kind of why I like Nintendo Directs. They tend to save announcements for when they're good and ready and about to release like a month later. Metroid Prime 4 notwithstanding, but they said themselves that was an outlier. Like they knew people wanted anything, any news at all about Metroid, and they wouldn't normally release a game, that, uh, announce a game that early. And now you see why they had to completely restart its development. But I think it's served its purpose. Like you'll notice that Yes, people are sad that Metroid Prime 4 still has no news. But you'll notice that nobody is, like, getting in a hissy fit and constantly crying to Nintendo over no Metroid Prime news. They're just making memes about it and kind of accepted their existence. Sad, but, uh... I... I think I like... Not like, but I'll take that over people actually being mad over nothing. I, I'm not gonna say over nothing, like, I like Metroid. And I'm up there with you as a fan of Star Fox and F-Zero. When it comes to lamenting the lack of a game. But I just watched, I've just seen social media and the court of public opinion getting more and more riled up over the way games are announced these days. And it's just kind of why I just try to stick out of it. What, what am I even talking about? You missed Nintendo Power. I actually have a Patreon subscription to Nintendo Force, which is actually made up of a lot of people that used to work on Nintendo Power, as well as prominent Nintendo YouTubers and whatnot, like Arlo, that puppet guy. Also, by the way, we're on Bowser's Castle stage. This is what I'm talking about. This is not the last stage. <laughs> it's not. Sorry, spoilers. But it definitely looks like it, doesn't it? You missed non-podcast Nintendo Power. True that. Uh, for a while, I was getting physical copies of Nintendo Force mailed to me, but uh, they started taking up space, so I stopped that. I only get the email now. You don't keep up with a lot of game news outside of word of mouth. Like the stuff... Yeah, that's why I go over gaming news at the start of my stream. Like, I'm... Owie! Origination's gonna have to head out. Thank you for the stream. Thank you for the raid, sir. And, uh, hope to see you again soon. Hope to see you playing River City Girls, you know. Good game! Everybody go play it. Thanks for, uh, hanging out. And thanks for always being so chill. Oh, jeez. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. I'm nauseous. Hold on. Uh, Star Fox, if only didn't make the control steam the last game, but I was talking about this earlier. I was able to, you know, get used to the controls, but they're definitely not intuitive. Um, I have problems with that game, but they don't stem from the controls. This is just me speaking as a fan of... Uh, Star Fox 64. Um, there's a lot of... You know what? I shouldn't just get into it. I've already talked about this. 
Um, I just want to see what Nintendo would do with another Star Fox game. Having the mindset that they have now. That's what I'll say. That's what I'll say so I don't repeat myself. Because for a while, they were pretty confused. Like, do we make a game... Force motion... Do we make a game force motion controls? I'm really considering switching off of Peach right now. I said I was going to use Peach for the rest of the stream, but I need to be a little bit more precise with my jumps. It's her, Look at that, that floatiness. I'm not going to blame it because I'm also like half paying attention at this point because I'm thinking of things to say about Star Fox. Let me, let me change character real quick. RIP! All lava, all the time! You know who I haven't used in my entire playthrough of this uh, part of the game? <laughs> Mario? <laughs> yeah! Oh, look, it's giving me the new box. Shut up, game. I'm a streamer. It should just have a streamer mode. It should know that I'm only using half of my brain. Half of the 10% of my brain that people usually use. Uh, Thank Dave was talking about. Uh, what's that? Uh, enemies on the map were too fast. I'm probably with no visible turn order. Turn order. What game are we talking about? Da, 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 da. I have missed so much in chat. Oops. Burn in the tadpole. Sorry! So, Star Fox! Um, I think now that Nintendo has learned to give people options, and also uh, streamline their game development, I wonder how they would make Star Fox. That's what I'm gonna say about that. Get out of here, Mr. Fireball. Fireballs, yum! Hee hee hee. Mine. That's really the first star, huh? Is this lava gonna rise? Oh! Lava gonna rise. My complete thought there was, was this lava gonna rise above the platform I was standing on? And the answer was yes. Your brothers, you call it the pity box. Call it the baby cube. Call it the new behedron. Call it the, uh, the noob cube. What am I doing? That was an easy one. Whoa. All right, lava's going down. Mario, Mario, run as fast as you can. I am the Eggman. I got the master plan. Yee. Hey. Let's go. The more involved I am in playing a game, Vlargs! Heck yes. The more involved I am in playing a game, the more I turn into Michael Jackson. Jamone! Dreamer Brain! Emlyn, how you doing? Welcome on in. This level also made you nauseous. Can't blame you. Like I was saying before, this this game is harder than you think. It's a good level of challenge, in my opinion. Wait a minute! See, that was the floatiness. That was me making bad jumps. Uh, you tried, you really did, you got up to Andros, and that was it for you. I think overall, even if they... Say, even if they ported Star Fox Zero to Switch, right now, and gave it the Skyward Sword HD treatment and made the motion controls optional... Oh! Oh, that hurts. Oh, that hurts. My issues with that game would be... Um... So, hold on, let me, let me start with what I liked about that game. The rail shooter segments, just like classic Star Fox, were phenomenal. And they really gave you a feeling of... Like the Saturday morning cartoon following the adventures of Fox McCloud and crew. Those are great. Uh, those are fantastic. They're exactly what I expected from a new Star Fox game. 
the all range mode levels felt exactly like something out of Star Fox 64. Like big empty levels, nothing really happening but focusing on fighting one enemy. So to me that was a little disappointing because the power of an HD console to me feels like they should have these grand large scale battles with so many enemies on the screen all doing something. And yet here I am, like, focusing on shooting down these giant spiders one by one. Not, not really exciting after how many years since Star Fox 64. Uh, other things like... So here's one thing that people may not know. Star Fox Zero, it... was originally devised as... Literally like Saturday morning cartoon episodic nothing connected to each other Like you probably selected all these levels from a menu And only later on in development did they decide to connect everything with a map like the other Star Fox games And you can really tell the way that everything had to be like oh I warped to this level and now I'm here how disjointed all the levels feel. You can really tell it wasn't really meant to be connected. Just so many things, so many things that I feel would have been different if they were to make that game today. You feel like they can make a whoa, amazing Star Fox game if they focus on what worked in the past and didn't try to over innovate. Dude, that's what I'm thinking about. If we take the motion controls out of the equation, that's what they did. That's what they did. The the all range levels just feel exactly like they're from an N64 game. The uh, rail shooting levels also feel like the N64 game, but those were amazing to begin with, so that's why they still feel amazing. Chicken Walker, if you count that as uh, innovation, you can take or leave that. I think that was a decent amount of innovation because they were... That was something that they wanted to put in the game since Star Fox 2 on the Super Nintendo. So even then, I wouldn't know if I count that as over-innovation. I just, I just think that motion controls are too often seen as of a scapegoat. Too... They are too often seen as a scapegoat. And if we just take the game part of the game by itself, you can see that... Oh, maybe they did do what people wanted. But what they wanted... isn't really what they wanted. Ooh, you like the chicken walker. Overall, I liked it. Um... So, it's funny because I just said motion controls are a scapegoat. But I am going to complain about the controls of the chicken walker. Specifically because of something that they actually did get right in Splatoon. I say they. I know that's a different team that made it. But, again, I'd be excited to see a Star Fox game implemented today because they have learned this thing from, from Splatoon. Um, with the chicken walker, this is hard. Can I just say this is actually kind of difficult? Because not only do you have to watch out for the big boss rolling at you, you have to watch out for these enemies right here, these big old golem graveler looking things rolling at you because you have to grab them to use against the boss. You also have to watch out for the fiery balls of death. The goodness gracious great balls of fire. Ooh. Uh, what they got wrong in Star Fox, when you use the chicken walker, you could not free look. You could only use the motion controls to aim while you're walking around. In Splatoon, you had the option of using the control sticks in tandem with the motion controls to look around and also aim. And that feels great. 
That is some of the best motion controls. I, I know. I, I, I should know you can't throw them while he's doing the spinny. I think Splatoon did motion controls right. Uh, they should take that lesson for Star Fox. Okay, good. TLDR. I need to be better at that. I need to be better at TLR, DLR, TLDRing myself. Ooh. Yeah. No! No! I'm scaled. I'm scaled. Luigi not afraid. Mario very afraid. Oh! Wow, nice. Thank you for destroying my ammo. This boss is a butt. This boss is a big old butt. Yes, yes, yes. Die! <laughs> Thank you so much for kicking my ass. Right. Good. Good. Michael Jackson mode activated. <laughs> Mirror Mirror's got to head out. Have a good night. I hope you enjoyed, Mira. Uh, it was good talking. Um, thank you for sharing uh, what you did and did not like about the Direct. That goes to everybody as well. Even if you don't announce going to sleep, I do not blame y'all for uh, hitting the hay, because I do stream pretty late when it comes to time zones, rhyme zones, lime zones, and crime zones. Let's go. So if y'all are just cozy in bed, that's all I can really ask for. So thank you for choosing Air Minokadobo as your nighttime entertainment today. <laughs> Thwops! It's all good. Thank you, Nuiki. Thank you for all your understanding. Please understand. Yup. Uh, you have yet to play a Star Fox if they put on a Switch. Yeah. Um... I wonder when the next Star Fox anniversary is, if they're even celebrated. But I'd love to see... What would I love to see? I don't know, it's hard to make a Star Fox collection. Because the games are too different. I, I like to compare Star Fox to Sonic. In the sense that... All the games in the series are so different that anybody who starts the series with a certain game will inherently not enjoy other games. Or, you know, potentially will inherently not enjoy other games. Because maybe they only like Zelda-like games, therefore anything that's not adventure is not their cup of tea. I missed a star. This is not surprising. Wait a minute, I found it. Excellent. Remember that sound clip they always used for Wario in the 2000s? Excellent! The one that everybody calls is Egg Salad. Lives in my mind rent free. Always and forever. I'm so glad that the lava isn't rising in this stage. I think it is too late to ask for a. Star Fox 64 port, because that's already on 3DS. And if they released it on Switch now, people would be like, Wow, Nintendo really is out of ideas. They're just doing Mar it's Star Fox 64 again! Uh, Worst Company says, It's not really the kind of gameplay of Star Fox at all. This talks making you want to try similar takes on Fire Jet like Ace Combat. I was talking about that uh, the other day on stream as well. What's going on here? Why is there a puzzle box? I probably have to find the keys in this area, don't I? I get it. I get it. Uh, but I was looking at a friend of the stream, Fallison, play Ace Combat. And it honestly surprised me that that game wasn't just basically a ripoff of Microsoft Fight Simulator. Because I had never seen gameplay of that game before. You get a full-on crew. Okay, something's... Something's... Okay, there's the trick. Something's going on. 
Lava might not be rising. Oh, hi. <laughs> it was worth it. But the darkness is falling. When darkness falls and the earth becomes sky. I'm sorry, when some gravity falls and the earth becomes sky. Speed run. Let's go. Look at how much better I can play the game when I'm not being careful. Nintendo's out of cow. But uh, with Ace Combat, you get like a flight crew, uh, named characters who you banter with during the missions. That reminds me of Star Fox more than any other flight sim out there I've ever seen. People uh, tout all these indie games being made as like, oh, this is just like Star Fox. But they're only like the rail shooting portion. They're only like all range mode flight simulation. No game besides Ace Combat has ever scratched that story itch that Star Fox fulfills. Making a mission feel like it has a definitive beginning, middle, and end through the characters involved in the dogfights. I, I know there are flight simulator combat games that do that. They have banter during the all range mode fights. But the, the cool thing about Star Fox, oh good, a Captain Toad level, I can actually talk. <laughs> Captain Toad gets thwomped, please don't. Toad is a good boy. He did not deserve this. He should be in Smash. Actually, don't put Captain Toad in Smash because then he'll be damaged. I'm damaged. No, no, no. Ace Combat's not a simulator. I know that now. But yeah, I just like the story. What can I say? I like story in games. I like when games, uh, present something cinematically during the gameplay and don't just pause for a cutscene. And Star Fox was one of the first games to ever do that. Ow. I forgot there was a small Captain Toad. Oh, look at him. Look at he. Such a precious lad. I'm more evasive like this. Captain T. Ode for Smash. Captain T. Ode. <laughs> from, from Origami King. I would love it. One of my favorite new characters of that game. And he didn't even really need to exist. Okay, hold on. How do you get that? I'm wondering. I see it now. Gotta drop in from above. Shooby dooby doop boop boop. Guys, don't be sleeping on Captain Toad's treasure tracker. Sure, it's an extension of these little mini games, but the puzzles, the puzzles. They bend your mind into a shape with at least five more wrinkles. Put a wrinkle in your thinkle. Dark Triforce, welcome in. How you doing? Hope you're well. Welcome to uh, the totally last level of Super Mario 3D World. It's not. But I feel like, I feel like we're making good progress today. I'm not gonna end the stream after I quote unquote beat Bowser, but I think that's a good place to switch over to Bowser's Fury. Because we're talking about Nintendo games, we're talking about what we'd like to see from them. It's about time! It's about the time! I never knew he said that! Uh -uh. Woke. Talking about Star Fox, it is one of my favorite game series and I don't think it gets enough attention. I can't blame it with, you know, the game that just released. But I've already gone over that. Captain Toad especially, you don't want him to get smashed. Fair. Okay, not Captain Toad for Smash. Anything but Captain Toad for Smash. Captain Toad for Smash, I'll take. 
Because what did he do? I think he translated some of that ancient text. I don't know. Spoilers for Origami King, by the way. It's actually a good game. You should play it. That's the spoiler. Pretty good. Pretty good. Bees? Bees. Exploding soccer balls. Good. Uh, can you love that Ace Attorney? Yeah, you love that Ace Combat has Metal Gear Solid vibes. You ever stream any camp? Oh, yeah? Do they have a weapon that surpasses Metal Gear, I wonder? I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Ooh! <laughs> oh, you! Oh, you! They all do say that? For this level? It's about time! It's about the time! It's about time! Now wait a minute. Huh. Oh, they really want me to keep the boomerang, huh? You know, I'm willing to give up a life. <laughs> Didn't think about that, huh? I got 78 of these things! I don't particularly need to keep that one in, in, in specifically. Ow. We zoom in. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, here it comes. Do you see that? That puzzle box? I've already gotten the third star of this level. So that's got to be Bowser right over there. I'm going to trust. I shouldn't have trusted. Ba, ba, ba. He did the same thing. <laughs> so that's something, um, talking about game design, that's something that I like to call gamer instinct, where we convince ourselves that a certain type of secret exists because of visual cues. This is legitimate use of Gamer Instinct, because they give you this little panel, like, there's gotta be something here, right? But the other type of instinct is when it's unfounded, and it's not something that the developers thought of. I thought there'd be an invisible bridge here. No, you defeat the enemies and you move on. When Gamer Instinct turns foul! Or it's just... Dum, bump, ba dump. Bowser's upgraded his car! Look at that! Got a new hood ornament and everything! Look, Bowser, just because Mario is Italian doesn't mean you can impress him with a new car, okay? This ain't no Ferrari or Lamborghini. Don't even, don't even pretend. Don't even play. Ooh! -ah. Here we go, here we go. Battle plays out just like the one for the first time, but now there's a little, there's a few more, uh... Obstacles? Bowser really committing to the car. Can you give him a ride? Unfortunately, Bowser is not that friend you call when you need somebody to pick you up from the airport on short notice, and you realize that the Ubers from there are too expensive. No, no, no. He wouldn't do you that solid. Maybe he'll play golf with you and tennis with you, and he complains when you don't invite him. But when it comes to actually helping you out in a time of need, he won't. He won't. Ugh. I was hoping I could have done that first try. I was doing pretty good. Let's be careful. Dude, Mario Golf. Yeah, he's also in Mario Golf. If anybody can find a picture of the Bowser's uh, design, the Bowser's design in the new Mario Golf, it's one of my favorite things. So there's this piece of concept art from Mario Odyssey. And you'll notice it on his Odyssey design. You forgot they announced it? Yeah, we were talking about that. I'm excited for it. Let me pause. So the timer doesn't run out. <laughs> I like it's World Castle Castle.
What, what, hey, how far did you get in Mario 3D World? I know, Castle Castle. Oh, is that after World 5? It's Castle. Is that the end of the game? It's Castle. 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 Bowser uh, needs to write his address down on his online deliveries. Uh, yes, I live in Castle Castle. Uh, what zip code is that? Castle. Mario Odyssey Bowser. So there's a little thing in the concept art that says, uh, Bowser's design is that his shoes have these little metal thing, metal plates on the bottom, because otherwise his toe claws would poke out, and that's legitimately the reason they gave in the concept art. And you'll notice that in every design of Bowser since then that has shoes, they have kept that. So spe like, specifically on the you love Wario and Waluigi's attire, may you link it? Yes, let me give you that permission, Joe Cube. He also has those shoes in his golf outfit. I love that attention to detail and consistency. This is his Mario Golf model from the N64. That's not relevant, I just wanted to show it to y'all. Alright, did you find the Twitter? Oh, there you go! So, uh, okay, I showed this earlier, but look, uh... I just like how stylish everybody is overall. Everybody wearing proper golf attire, especially Wario. And Yoshi. Look at those pants! That's his strategy! Uh... I think it's called Razzle Dazzle Camo. You wear something so visually aggressive to the eyes that you distract your opponents. <laughs> That's clearly what Wario is going for. And I see in the replies uh, what I'm talking about with Bowser. It's 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 kind of blurry, but you see it. Bowser's got them uh, got them kicks. He got them Nikes with the metal plates with the metal cleats. Ew, those are just straight up spikes. Don't let him kick you with those. It's hard to tell, but he's got like a shirt on and a little visor. I love it so much. The hat, the pants, the belt buckle. Belt buckle. Ah, ah! Everybody's so stylish. It didn't have to be a cowboy hat, but it is. I just noticed that the bottoms of his shoes also have like fancy colored cleats on them too. Just blind them, especially since they got that new like real-time golf mode like it's a good strategy oh, I missed but when it comes to fashion he don't miss he don't miss when it comes to addresses what three words are geographical coordinates uh his house might be located in bowser castle castle i suppose the addresses of the mushroom kingdom could do worse than castle castle because, okay, if you see a giant castle on the horizon, and you are said- you are told to deliver something to castle, there's actually no ambiguity of what you're trying to deliver to. Unless maybe it's Peach's castle versus Bowser's. If it's like World 5, do you have to just go through the worlds in order before you get to the fifth one and you just assume it's World 5? Maybe Bowser had it right this whole time. No! Whee! Hey Having the boomerang makes this so much easier. Don't have to put myself in harm's way. They're wearing actual golf cleats. So I was mentioning this before. That's what they did with uh, Mario Tennis Aces. In the Mario Tennis game on Wii U, they did not wear tennis attire. In the Mario Tennis game on Switch, and aces, they do. In the Mario Tennis on Wii U, they don't have any stages besides the regular playing court. They don't even have like clay versus grass versus standard. No, 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 just one on one court. One of the only things that Mario Tennis Aces had going for it was the fact that it had different courts and a story mode. Mario Tennis Wii U did not have a story mode. I have this theory that I have not seen anybody purport. 
at that. Double hit on the same cycle. We speed running, boys. We speed running. He only got two wheels left. Don't run your car on just the raw wheels. They're gonna create sparks and set the car on fire. Bowser's insurance cannot cover this. No way. Yep. Doist. Ah. Ah, shoot. I have to pay attention. Oh no! Oh, this is bad. Oh! Nope, just more. Nice T posing, Bowser. Thank you. He's now part of the stream. I left it there on purpose. I actually did. Because it's the Bowser fight. There's nothing interesting up there anyway. Just a timer and a score. Nobody wants to look at that. Come on, Bowser, throw a bomb. Throw a bomb. Hey, whoa, whoa! SD. <laughs> this is why I want to look at chat more than I am. But it just doesn't work. I just don't. I apologize, everybody. This this is this is the kind of game. This is why I usually play RPGs. Um I love Nintendo games, but at least RPGs let me just take a breather every now and then. Because even if I just do this, I don't want to just like pause every time I read a message. But it might be what has to happen. Uh, yeah. Apparently the difference between the Switch and the Wii U is that you can wear clothes on the Switch. In general. How you doing, Viv? Light omelet. How's it going? Welcome to the final battle. Mario vs. Bowser. The showdown to decide all the beans. Because as we know, canonically, Bowser just gives up after this and never kidnaps Peach ever again. You know, he doesn't even kidnap Peach in this game. You can play as Peach, literally deliver the retribution, the revengeance. Peach has been dreaming of for years. All right, all right, bow, bow. All right, bow, bow. You don't even have a license. Mario's part of the highway police now. We woo, we woo. Pull over. Pull over? This road doesn't even have a... Uh. There ain't even a sign of this road. Yeah, just to pull over into the lava. No shoulder. That's what it's called. Can't think playing game. I forget what happens in this game, but it's time to play that guessing game of if Bowser gets thrown into the lava, will he just die or will he resurrect as a zombie skeleton? Try Bowser. Ever since Dry Bowser became a thing, I'm just constantly on my toes. It was such a surprise back then. Nobody expected Bowser to actually just come back from the dead. This is what makes this fight hard. Because he throws out the lava before He throws out the bombs. It limits the angles at which you can kick them back. So the, the difficulty is just watching both Bowser and the road. Come on! Come on! How many hits was that? Five? This is illegal, you know. Nintendo bosses don't have that much health. It's impossible. I almost ran off again. Yeah. Bam. St 
Brazil. This boy is resilient. Oh, that's not a good. This is not a good. I'm running out of time. Come on. Please. I am begging. Bowser, I am no longer asking. I am begging. I am demanding. It just stop. Oh, the bombs. Why do you have so many soccer balls anyway? Uh. What, were you taking Bowser Jr. to soccer practice? Never took Bowser for a soccer dad, but <laughs> there you go. Sorry. But well, you're not getting your deposit back. Bye bye. <laughs> no dry Bowser. What a shame. I'm still being time. Go. Alrighty. Alrighty, righty. Pretty good. You missed Dry Bowser too, just in time. Yeah, puzzling Shutterbug. Thanks, Twig. You're on the bed. Hey, thanks for uh, sticking it out. I enjoyed the chance. Have a good night, and I'll see you again. Sleep well and stay clucky. <laughs> good night. Take take this out now. Take 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 this out now. What? <gasps> but wait, there's more! Good job, Sprixies. Huddling together in one easy to capture package. Oh no! <gasps> Taste the rainbow! Ride the rainbow! Success! Success! Break the targets! A new record! Heck yeah. So it's not over yet. Not yet, Snake. Another world after this. Uh, we're not ending stream right now. Because this is the last Mario 3D World we'll get to this week. Uh, tomorrow we'll be playing the Pokemon trading card game on Game Boy Color. So get excited for that. If you're going to sleep though, thank you for being here. Would you look at that? Bowser! Bowser made a Disneyland in the sky! Cause he a clown. <laughs> we straight clowning. Look at this! So, you know, clearly after Sonic Colors, uh, Bowser saw what Eggman was doing, making an amusement park in space. Just had to one-up him. Eggman made Universal Studios, Bowser made straight up Disney World. Look at that, you got the Magic Kingdom, you got the Cinderella Castle, you got, I don't know, Adventureland up in there. Big Thunder Mountain, Big Lava Mountain. <laughs> All right, Bowser, I'll give it to you. I'd buy tickets, I'd buy an annual pass. I hope that comes with free parking. I hope it does. Let me just save and we'll uh, just close out the night with some, uh, Bowser's Fury! Yeah, baby. But da 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 Oh, I love hearing that music as well. Bowsette Castle, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I don't see no Super Crown. It just straight up is something like Starlight Carnival, huh? Just interject some of that, Michael Jackson. ba ba da 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 Bam! ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba all right, well, I'll save that for next time. Let's go back and just explore the Fury. I love how fast that is to switch between the two games. Don't even need a BRB. Loading time? Just like five seconds. This is like the most loading you'll ever see in this collection, honestly. Uh, the neon parts of colors. Oh, sorry. Uh, I never actually played colors. Oh, 
my secret revealed. I'm talking all about it. I just know that Eggman makes a carnival in the sky. Good, good, good. Fury Shadow by the shore. Oh! Shadow Guiji. You know, everybody I've seen play this gets the Shadow Luigi, like, almost immediately. I was wondering why I have never seen it. Guess I just missed it. Oh, you cheeky. You cheeky mother. Here, have a cat. I deploy feline tactics. Wonderful! You're being reminded of bread yeeting cats. It's what you do! They are there, they enjoy it. Look, they have fun! These ones specifically. It's like when you when you toss when you toss your, your child up in the air and like you're playing airplane and you go like Right? Maybe? Maybe not. I can't believe Mario killed Luigi. Luigi, I can't believe you had your entire year to yourself. Yeah, Luigi. But Mario, Mario, you get so much time in the spotlight already. Don't I get my own year? We talked about this, Luigi. Why, why is Mario the only one using his super show voice? about this Luigi you are a second banana and that is your rule you remember the movie Wreck-It Ralph hey no I don't Mario we weren't allowed to be in that movie well you know Ralph had to be a bad guy and that does not mean that he is a bad you have to be the brother and that does not mean you are not me but I'm not you exactly so you do understand I don't get it, Mario. Can, can I still have my year? No! In fact, you cannot even have your life. Sorry, but you will die now. Oh, no! <laughs> Never tossed my child in the air. Ooh, I forgot how intense this mode is! All right, get ready. I think we got to show Bowser a thing or free. Giga, do do do, Breaker. <laughs> oh no! People have modded this mode to play as the other characters, since it literally just is using uh, Mario, Mario's like player controls and whatnot from 3D World in a 3D environment. They modded in like playing as Toad. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. They found that there's unused data for Toadette in this game? So maybe she was supposed to be added? It makes me sad. Maybe they added as DLC, I don't know. Lord Mario. Bowser's Fury 2021. Just footage of that one Mario Brothers Super So episode. Like Bowser is as big as a city and then Mario like... I don't know what he does, but he like... Also grows as big and they just have a kaiju battle. Bowser Roth! They have to have done that on purpose. Like, listen to that part! Diddly, diddly, diddly. This is just discount one winged angel. Diddly, 
Got him! Egg! Mika Mochi, how's it going? Mochi Moch, welcome to the Fury! But I ain't Angie. I'm just having a grand old time. A grand old time. Oops. Why Bowser huge and Angie? They never say. But I think. I think he ate a little bit of Taco Bell, which is dangerous in and of itself, but it wasn't exactly up to health code. Oof, and now he's dead. <gasps> so sad. Sorry, BJ. BJ, Bowser Jr. I never mind. I should not come up with nicknames on the fly. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, Bowser Jr. We killed your dad. Hmm. What? I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> uh, Bleach Japan. You know, from Yakuza Like a Dragon. Oh, that is unfortunate. I was just thinking of like, you know, Pete Jr. from Goof Troop, PJ. That doesn't exactly, that doesn't, that doesn't work as well, does it? Ooh. Hope y'all are having a fun night. Oh, look at that, plus he's still a cat. I should have realized that this was just gonna trigger the ending again. Uh, can I just cancel this? I think it's too late now. Ooh, I guess we're in it. I'm okay with reliving the ending of this. It was a fun mode. Hope you're having a nice night. Hope you are uh, at least excited for some of the things coming out of the Nintendo Direct. I at least try to keep to the positives when it comes to announcements and whatnot. I think I've just played enough Nintendo over the years that I know what they're likely to do and not do. And if I want games that are not what Nintendo makes, then you know you always got Sony and Microsoft, don't you? I know that's a very defeatist attitude. But I think like it's good that we have discussions about what people want from Nintendo games and how Nintendo can improve. I'm not I'm not saying like take what you get or don't do it at all. Oh I'm just happy about what we do get, you know? Monster Hunter Rise! I forgot they talked about Rise. I was already excited for it. I'm happy for it. Um. Uh, spoilers for the end of Bowser's Fury, by the way. We've seen this already. Sorry. Bye-bye! Uh, let's get back to the Fury. I'm sorry, y'all. I, I should have realized that fighting Bowser with the cat was just gonna bring me back to this. That's a 55 out of 100. That's not progress. Uh, I'm gonna admit, Monster Hunter World uh, did not tickle my fancy. It was not the Monster Hunter game that I expected coming out of uh, Monster Hunter Generations. And I think I'm going to really enjoy Junior's Graffiti Gratitude. I'm going to enjoy Junior's Graffiti Gratitude. I'm going to enjoy Rise a lot more, just from the demo. It's a lot closer to what I expect. Look at me, literally talking about, uh, should we expect things from game companies, yes or no? This, yes. Yes, I, apparently Bowser Jr. already has an opinion. Yes! Yes! I'm gonna say... I just like talking about game design. And whether or not companies followed my ideas, that's not really important. I... I'm nobody. Yeah, 
Yeah, so how's your day, everybody? Welcome to the Bowser. Hello. <laughs> uh, you played the demo. Uh, as much as you love HD Monster Hunter, love the art style. Graphics wise, you wish on a stronger system. I think it's still. I think it looks fantastic. I didn't play enough Monster Hunter World to really know how much better or worse Rise looks. But it already looks better than I could have ever expected from the Switch. And it runs smoothly enough. From the demo, I didn't see any performance problems, but people are memeing like, Haha, it drops to 20 frames per second. I don't know, I just didn't feel that. And I played like both the hard and intermediate stages of the demo. I don't know what to say. Performs well enough to me. Let's go. Failing grade, 55 out of 100. Now wait a minute, maybe the grading's on a curve, right? What's the class average? I've been in college classes before where I've passed the final with a 40 out of 100 because everybody else got a 40 out of 100. Birds, birds. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna face the camera? Oh, come on. I just wanted to take a picture. They're cat seagulls for, go for, for goodness sakes. Look at them. Now this, that's kind of uh, performance. Look at them, so cute. So wonderful. I am missing one cat coin. Let me uh, see if I can find it. We'll see how it performs when we have our screens filled with attacks. I do trust Capcom to optimize their games better than a lot of other uh, third-party developers. Because they are the company that brought us the MT framework, which ran spectacularly on my potato of a laptop I had in college, and I was able to play Resident Evil 5 on that. And it was nuts to me that a laptop I bought with like no graphics card in it could run a modern game and still look decent. So Capcom, despite their business practices, has some of the best programmers with regards to optimization, I think, in my opinion, from what I've seen. All the above. There it is. Gosh dang. Back to second grade for me. Awesome. Now I can play Jumpstart second grade all over again. This is going to be great. Which was second grade? First grade was the one with the dog. Third grade was the one with the time-traveling robot. Fourth grade had... Was fourth grade the, like... Haunted Mansion kind of spooky one? I think that was fifth grade. I barely remember. Can I be reincarnated as a cat seagull? You absolutely can. Just make sure you don't get reincarnated as a slime girl first. Armor said bonus skills are getting replaced. Bonus resistance. Thanks for the follow, by the way. I see ya. I appreciate ya. Time traveling robot. Oh yeah. If y'all ever played Jumpstart, I've, I've debated whether or not to stream those games. Those edutainment games that came out. Wait a minute. I'm still missing a coin? How? Those point and click adventures that I played as a kid. They're what got me through grade school. People thought I was smart? No, I just like video games. Uh, they all had different stories. The one for third grade was about this mad scientist girl who kept failing all of her history classes. So, you know, I can relate. But because she was so salty about it, instead of actually learning history, she just went back in time to change it so that she was always right. Like, what battle did Napoleon lose? 
Uh, the Battle of Pickles. Just go back in time and just assault him with pickle jars. That's not from the game. That's something that would happen. So you have to play as one of her robots that are uh, rebelling against that because history should not be changed. All that stuff. Basically, Time Squad. And writing back history to the way it should have been. It's great. I barely remember it. I want to play it again. There's a streamer I used to watch who is kind of on hiatus right now. His name is Mike Panutes. He used to play a lot of those, as well as like the Arthur uh, interactive storybooks and just a whole bunch of other entertainment stuff. Rodney's Fun Screen. If you know that game, you're a real one. Whatever that means. If I don't stream then, that means you don't want me, don't want you guys to learn. Fair enough. I guess I'll have to. Guess I'll have to. Wait a minute. There's got to be a coin missing somewhere. Can I just like see, like a completion status? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot you could fast travel in this game now. Good, good, good. And where in time is Common San Diego? So, ha me not ever having played Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, I know where is Carmen San Diego in the world. So, spoilers. I wonder if you know, can you just skip the entirety of that game and speedrun it? Uh, here's a hint she's not in San Diego. <laughs> Nope. Ba -ba -da -da -da. You played that one. You know what I have played on stream? Putt putt. Travels through time. I played the Back to the Future soundtrack when I streamed that. Even though it was the one from the Back to the Future point and click adventure game, I still got DMCA for it. Oh, so sad. Pajama Sam stream too when? Hey! You know what? Not opposed. I do have no need- I did stream No Need to Hide when it's dark outside. Oh! Excellent! Excelente! Oh. Go, go, go! Pajama Sam, you're the one with the control of the weather! Nice! Cat shine! Cat item! New record! Sometimes I scare myself with how well I can match that pitch. Chance time! <laughs> Despair! Here we go. Vegetable world. Isn't that like you are what you eat from your head to your feet? So I had not played- I had not ever played Pajama Sam as a kid until well, just not as a kid. And then I streamed No Need to Hide. I'm down with streaming another one of those. When I find the right time for it. Um, I like how the game titles are all, uh, not alliterative, uh, rhymes. It makes it easier to remember what their names are. I would have loved to play those as a kid. They're not even edutainment, they're just... Straight up adventure games. They do teach you a thing or two. Oh, but you know, well, one thing that was great is in No Need to Hide When It's Dark Outside, there's a part where they just dump a bunch of random trivia facts on you about boats, I think. And then Pajama Sam literally asks, like, why are you teaching me all this? Because in the law requires this to be an educational game, so we have to teach you something. 100% lampshade. I feel like there's a more efficient way to do this. Oh yeah, there's shells. Big brain. Big brain. Ender shell? Right. Enter shell. The boat couldn't, didn't think it could float. That too. Pew, pew, pew. You know what this reminds me of? Mario Kart. Like the original one. Game also tied you wood doesn't float. It doesn't, you're right. Yeah, 
You know, the girl from Jumpstart Third Grade would go back in time and just change the laws of nature so that the first piece of wood didn't float. And that way, every piece of wood that ever existed in the history would not know that was a thing. It wouldn't have the precedent. Is that all? I guess so. SNES Battle Mode! Ah! I discover all of these things after I've already cleared the area. Yup, 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 yup. Even the Koopas are cats! If you haven't seen this mode, everything is a cat. The flowers are cat paws. It, surprising they're not cat tails, which are actual plants. Trees are cats. The shrubs are cats. Mario's a cat. Plus he's a cat. The map is not shaped like a cat. Big missed opportunity. Here is the map. It is not a cat. Am I a cat? You are a cat, Soul Sapphire. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise. You are if you believe. Game's a cat fever dream. It's funny, that's why Lemmy Cat bought the game for Brad. Fling yourself. F -f 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 Fling yourself. And then after he mistreated the cats in the game, she strongly regretted the purchase. <gasps> Speaking of! Looks like we're rescuing this toad. Although, does he really need rescuing? Cat shine! Cuddly castaway. Like, think of this as the plot. Oh, watch out! We got chickens. Just one. I see the chicken cat into the cat island. Look at it! I don't even care that Bowser's about to awaken from his thousand year slumber in order to destroy my entire livelihood. I've got what I need. I'm happy to die here right now. I'm fulfilled. Oh, okay. Well, now the cats are evil. Never mind. This is terrible. I'm out of here. Oh, this is bad. Ha! Ha ha! Oh, jeez. Oh! Hey, oi! Hey, oi! We out of here. Oh, hi. Hello. Bowser, you've gotten so big and strong. You've been working out? Oh! Uh. I think that as a yes. Uh, how about we work out an agreement between you and I that you uh, no longer... Ooh. Attack me. Look at him though. He's so big. Big good boy. I'm dodging, I'm dodging, I'm trying, I'm dying. I'm lying. Bowser Jr. is just gonna stand there and watch me die. But it's okay because this is a seaplane. This, I strongly wish that they had the frog suit in this mode. Okay. I'll take that. Thanks for the dodge. I think it really did help. It gave me the motivation to go on. <laughs> you forgot what it was? You just wanted me to dodge, huh? I'll take it. It was appropriate. Boom bop bop boom bop. Doom bump ba doop da uh. I, I heard this on a different stream, but I do wonder how they had the time to record all these new orchestral pieces. Cause this wasn't music that was already in 3D World, was it? This is new. Either it's really good synthesis, or they somehow got an, or an orchestra together. Oh! Ah! Wonderful! Lemmy's game of the year. Cats, cats, and more cats. Clickety clack, down the track, it's lots and lots of cats! We got big cats, small cats, fast cats, slow cats, even cats that go through snow!
Easy peasy. Cuddly cats. Scratchy cats. You say that like Nintendo doesn't have an orchestra at the ready at all times. The one thing they always have. One man orchestra, Koji Kondo, in his basement. Playing five different keyboards at the same time. Simulating an entire orchestra. Because he's that good. You're right. You're right, you're right, you're right. Ba -da 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 -da. Can I say? I am... One of the things that impresses me most about video games... Or rather, like, the history of Nintendo... Is Koji Kondo. Dude's been making ga uh, music for video games since the 80s. Since... Original Mario. And somehow has seamlessly... Transitioned from uh, making the little beeps and boops directly by programming chip code. Literally what chip tunes are. To just making fully orchestrated music? Would he have ever imagined he would be doing that? I don't know if he was the composer for this game. I'll say that right away. I don't want to give him credit if he's not the one who did. But he has been making music for like the Zelda series this whole time. And whatnot. Dude's actually very talented. Cannot be discredited. People can have their own ideas about like whether Miyamoto still has good ideas or whether like maybe he should retire because the things he's said about certain games have been to his detriment. But Koji Kondo! Man has produced quality since day one. Greatest of all time. Nintendo Orchestra! We got people playing the uh, Mariobo. The Yoshi. I, I can't think of I can't think of any other puns right now. I'm being assaulted by Bowser. Oh. You catch me on other streams. I have plenty, plenty of puns and wordplay going on. I just currently all my brain power is focused on uh, not dying. Ooh, this entire island's made of gold. I love gold. Ba -ba, ba -ba. Is it just me, or are there like five shines on that? Whoa. Whoa. Cat shine, first lucky shine. Is that what this is? Does this just randomly appear? From place to place? Oh, and you can only get one per Bowser cycle, I get it. Ah. Bowser just randomly decides he wants to throw down. That's when his stomach acts up. It's that Taco Bell again. You know it doesn't just come and go once. It, it It's in waves. You gotta keep taking his Pepto-Bismol. The Yoshi. Yoshi Trumpet. <laughs> I'll take it. Better than anything I came up with. Mari Obo. What else? What else? What other instruments would there be? The, uh, flu flu DG? Yeah. I don't think we're gonna get any better than Mario Bo. I'm sorry, guys. It's impossible. I've peaked. So Sapphire's gotta go get some sleep. Have a great rest of the stream. Absolutely. Get some rest. I know it's late. Have a good night, Soul Sapphire. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've been chill. And, uh, I'll see you later. Have a good night and stay clucky. So that's what this mode is, if you haven't seen it before. He's just there. He's just sleeping. Menacingly. Slowly rising out of the water. Every however many minutes, 
I think he's gotten faster since the beginning of the game. And there's nothing you can do. Nothing you can do but prepare for the oncoming storm. I would love to see a full-on Mario game take this idea. I would like to see Key to the Cat Shine. Wherever this goes, I wonder. But here's a problem. Uh, in order to run, I have to hold the run button. But uh, I also want to look around so I can see where this key goes. The Yoshi phone, the Peach, <laughs> Peach Anno. I like it. I like it. Uh, maybe triangle. Okay, let's just think of instruments first. Then we'll associate them with Mario characters. Sorry, Bowser. I don't have a time to play. Oh, wrong number. Oh, hey. Peachello. Cello, cello, cello. Uh, Wario, cello. Cello, is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, I guess there really is just a lack of orchestral instruments that correspond. Mario characters. Wow, who knew it was such a niche? Luigi Colo. Like a piccolo? Alright, alright, seeing that. I'm liking that better than anything I've come up with so far. You're running. Clarinet. Claire. If only anybody was named Claire. Resident Evil, that's a Nintendo game, right? It was on the N64. Resident Evil 2. They was in that game. Play a Redfield. Get out of my way, rats! Can't you see? Hot key coming through! Anna, how's it going? How's you going? Bowser looking thick. Oh, you don't even know. Look at this lad. Can we just appreciate that Nintendo? Can't see it from here. Kind of see it from here. I'm safe! Nintendo gave him, uh, mostly pecs in this mode. I feel like a lot of people... <laughs> a lot of people might enjoy that. <laughs> Alright. Here's the key! Hope you're having a good time, Anna. Welcome on in. I can tell it's late. Looking nice. Alright, okay, but who's thicker, though? And don't mind that I have something prepared for this. Don't ask why. Uh, Bowser? Or Godzilla? Godzilla from the Singular Point anime that's new and coming to Netflix. Look, look at him! Look at, look at this ratio. You can't see my cursor, but look at the ratio. From one, <laughs> one hip to the other. Godzilla's thicker, Bowser's just spherical. Mmm. So we can say that Bowser's got that dad bod. And Godzilla uh, has child birthing hips. Why am I talking about this? This is this is what happens when it gets too late on stream. I should should never let it get this late, or maybe I should let it get this late more often. But no Kadobo stream. It gets uh, just like Nick at night. The rating gets higher as Time goes on. Hey, rule the thickest. DK King Kong. Well, we're not talking about them right now. You never watched any Godzilla movies. You know, you think you watched one as a kid, you don't remember it. We gotta watch one sometime. I've heard that Shin Godzilla is great. I have lurked in a stream of it, but I haven't ever actually properly watched it, and I hear it's amazing. So, uh, I promise that at some point I'll give it a watch it really deserves. And if I do, it should be there. Discord... Discord stream? Maybe. Ah, welcome to Bowser's Fury. Uh, Bowser gets really angry because his stomach doesn't really agree with a food he ate earlier. 
because mostly I cooked it. You know, I brought it to the potluck. Um, this is what you do. Don't do this, by the way. If you don't have enough food to bring to a potluck, uh, make it instantly make all the guests sick so that nobody ever eats more than one bite of it. And that way it'll last the whole night. That's terrible. Don't do thick at night. All right, you listen to me, young man. Also, oh. Weishly, how's it going? Welcome on in. Yeah, we're just doing whatever. Mostly. We are playing. Bowser's Fury. Uh, we had a fun time playing 3D World up until now. Uh, we beat the castle stage of 3D World, so we quote-unquote beat the game. Now we're in the quote-unquote post-game. And I'm just remembering how much I like this series. Series, this game. Yeah. Go, 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 it's on a timer. Uh, uh. Gosh dang. Minoka poison. Don't poison your co-workers at the potluck. I didn't say poison. I just said made the food make the food really bad. You ever play Persona 4 Mystery Food X? Just have Yuki Kyor Chie cook it. Bow soon! Basoon! All right, all right, all right. I'll give that one a solid seven out of ten. Oh yeah, uh, if you're just coming on in, we're, we're thinking of orchestral instruments that uh, you can make a pun with any Mario character's name. Don't ask why, because I've already forgotten. Something about Koji Kondo. <laughs> oh, there it is. I found you, Faker. Faker? You're comparing yourself to me? Oh, I should uh, turn off Bowser Jr. helping. I never realized what that did. He actually attacks the enemies for you, and I actually have not liked that during this whole playthrough. Because sometimes he attacks things I don't want to be attacked. Snowball! Ha ha ha! Resourceful. Like the... When you play The Last of Us 2 on instant death mode, if you lose a snowball fight, you die. Uh, I love that that counts. <laughs> Bowsola, like a viola. Uh, there's Vivian from Thousand Year Door. Vi 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 violin? Meow. Nice cats. If you guys like cats, you should play this. Everything is a cat in this game. Look, those bees are cats. They got cat ears. Uh, look at this design on the parapets of this castle. They are also cat ears. Look at the clouds in the sky. They are also cats. Look at Mario, he is a cat. I bet, look at the mountains. Look at the mountains, look at the happy little mountains. They are also cats, see, there you go, there's cat ears. They're subtle, but I can see them. Uh, that mountain over there. Hard to see for this angle, but you got the cat whiskers and the cat ears on top. The gates, cats. Get all the boxes. Oh. Oh, yeah. And if you're packing up for your move, I hope it's going smoothly. At least smoother than Bowser's digestive tract at the moment. This game's the cat's meow. I'll give you that one. You deserve that one, Joe Cubed. I'll take it. Keep them coming. I'll, I'll, I'll give this ultimatum. If ever I'm too mentally occupied to spew out dad jokes and horrible puns, feel free to make them yourself. And I will credit each and every good one, and by good one I mean terrible one, with the appropriate rim shot if applicable. Violin bell drum, bell drum. See, once you once you bring in the Paper Mario characters, it it, it gets a little easier. Okay, who else we got? Uh, Punio, no. Uh, the Punies, no. Uh, we got the. Oops. We got Baby Yoshi, whose you name that doesn't count. We got Rock Hawk, Rock and Roll Hawk. 
That's not an instrument. I'm putting the responsibility on you to create your own dad jokes. I, I just think it's finally time. Just think it's finally time for y'all to grow your wings, and fly, leave the nest, start families of your own. It's hard for me to admit, but all parents have to go through this someday. <laughs> time for you to go out into the wild world and turn over a new leaf. Seek out new horizons. Cause wherever you go, the population is growing. <laughs> PD Piran Harp. That one's clever because it relies on the spelling. I like it. Here we go, cat coins. I'm missing one still. Dang. We can thought you were already doing bad puns and dad jokes. Yeah, keep them coming. We got the quality. And by that I mean we got the lack of quality. We just gotta bring up the quantity. Down here. Perfect. Yup. Wonderful. Badi badu. Uh, triangle. Triangle strategy. Triangle. Symbol. Uh, gong. Donkey gong. All right, it's getting late. <laughs> getting too late. Why am I excited over that? This pond is a cat. Where else could I be missing a coin? To look with your eyes, not with your mouth. That's what my dad always used to say. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Mario gonna figure this one out. Eh, uh, got any tools? Mario, go fish! I guess I'm going fishing. I'm gonna fly for you. Meow. 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 All these years later, Mario's still flying for us. What a trooper. We have the pun Mar uh, Nintendo made themselves. Ludwig von Koopa. Now, is that one cheating because every single Koopaling is named after some sort of musician? Because they are, actually. Just Ludwig von Koopa is kind of the most obvious one. I, I, I couldn't tell you all the references off the top of my head. Just because I'm not that cultured when it comes to music. I just know they are. Lemmy from Motorhead. There you go, there's one. Xyla Bones! Dryla Bones! I guess there are orchestras with xylophones, yeah. I've gotta keep an eye out for one more cat coin. It's around here somewhere. We're gonna get it. We are gonna get that last cat shine in this area. Last cat shine. Iggy Pop. Which I believe is the same musical reference that Araki must have made in JoJo. Naming a dog Iggy. Zafud! All right, I'm just uh, wanderlessly, aimlessly wandering. Wander, Vision. Wander Vision is pretty good, guys. Go watch it. Hey, hey, hey! It's not a cat coin, but I see a little schmickrat. Wendy O. Williams, same reference. Guy from Street Fighter. 
Also, a reference back to Jojo. Two times over, because he looks like freaking Stroheim slash Polnareff. Right on cue, Bow Bow. Blast me, Daddy. Wait. There it goes. Oh, yeah, right in my face. And named after the dude, not the mirror dude, but the guy that worked with the mirror dude. The guy with the two left hands! I don't know why that was a, such a plot point. I guess it's an easy way to recognize somebody. Wonderful! Jay Guile. It's amazing what kinds of things in video games you realize are just straight up references to other things. Um, can't think of any examples right now. But so many of those character designs from early Street Fighter owe to a lot of pop culture at the time. There was a dude who was gonna wear like a Zubaz shirt who was cut from Street Fighter being like a real-life clothing brand. No idea why they went with that because you know that would just make licensing horrible. Left hand is the left hand man the mirror guy? Oh maybe he is. I forget. I thought there were two. It's been a while since I've watched Andor Red Part 3. Bunny Rabbit! Boss Bass. Boss Baby. Bowser Nova. They bow bow. Chick chick chicka. They bow bow. Jig out and his mom both had double left hands. Been so long. I've been so far removed from the JoJo life. It's so sad. I left off reading part eight. They are still doing part eight. Araki is. So, you know, just call me when it's done, I guess. At this point, I'd have to read through it again from the beginning anyway. You watched it a few months ago. They did a great job with the anime. I will say. Any qualms that people might have with pacing kinda is just because it was like that in the manga. Uh, one particular example that may be an outlier to that is the fight against the sun. They make a whole episode about a fight that in the manga took literally one page. But it leads to a really funny episode because it's about, ooh, it's about the team going delirious from heat stroke. So the fact that it's one page in the manga, but an entire episode in the anime. I guess I did this the easy way, huh? Realistically portrays that, yeah, you would go crazy after what feels like an entire day's worth of travel in the sun. Wait a minute! How am I gonna be fast enough to get through there? Sorry, Plessy. Don't give up on Jojoleon. It's good! I just... it was... it wasn't finished! I stopped reading it because there was no more to read, so I had to wait until there was more. That's the only thing. Oh, baby! Koopaton! Like a conductor's baton! I like that one. Baton. Bow... Bowton. Okay. Okay. At this point, I think I'm just gonna have to look up... <laughs> orchestral instruments. So I can go by them one by one. 
Building your favorite JoJo. I am excited for part six. Have they can have they confirmed that they're making it? Even though it, I a lot of people say they don't care for it, and with how it goes, that's fair from a certain perspective. There's a calico cat, but I shouldn't get it because it's about to turn evil. Oh no! What was once cat heaven is now turned into cat heck. Oh, this is bait. No stone ocean anime announced yet. Oof. Unfortunate. Oh, you know what sucks? If I don't want Bowser, if I don't want to see the ending cutscene, I shouldn't fight Bowser right now. So all I can do is find another shine on short notice. Ow. Or hide. This ain't great. Why are these cats such... Oh! It's not their fault! They're under the influence of a dark power! Or something else that you'd hear at the beginning of... Yum. Of a Soul Calibur fight. Ah! Well, now I have a plant. Here, Bowser! Take my peace offering! This lovely bouquet! Can we talk about how the end of Mario Odyssey, the bouquet that Mario tries to give the Peach, is just a bunch of piranha plants? Like, that doesn't seem romantic. No wonder she didn't accept that. Taco Bell's a pretty dark power, not gonna lie. I'm glad you understand. Oh no. Oh no. Nuki's doing good with that Google so far. You killed the plane! Oh, this is my... Star. Dang it! Oh, smang it, Bobby. That boy just ain't right. Plants ain't gonna respawn, are they? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Heck. Uh, we were talking about JoJo. Let's talk about that. Will I suffer? Bell. This is the Taco Bell. This is why Bowser's has an upset tummy. Because Taco Bell, you just, you spell taco backwards. What do you get? You get O Cat. It was sitting in front of us this whole time. Oh, Cat Bell. Oh, Cat Bell. How lovely are your rings. You gotta finish part five. It has a good anime. Uh, so part five is pretty infamous for having a pretty bad translation that I never really understood the implications of until I watched the anime. It really does have a bad translation. It is a good example of how you can make a literal translation and yet it's not good. It's not the creator's intent. It strips the characterization out of the dialogue. Even though they are technically saying the same things. When I read the part 5 manga, I thought the main character, Giorno Giovanna, was this perfect Gary Stu, Mary Sue character. Completely stoic, like, not even in a funny way, like Jotaro. But just, he's just this perfect pretty boy who can do no wrong. Because that's the aura I got about him from his dialogue. From the way that people talk about him. No flair, no sass, not like, I don't know, Joseph Joestar. Almost no personality. And after watching the anime, there finally was a personality. The joy. My controller was drifting, but I'm using a pro controller. It was moving on its own. Yeah. 
So since uh, part five anime was an official translation, we find I finally understood the flaws of Jono's character. I I'm not gonna go into it because if you don't know JoJo, this is just gonna be me rambling about nothing. But uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's good. Clara Daisy. Now that does <laughs> points for using Daisy. But uh, I'm gonna have to dock you for that. That really makes sense. I'm gonna have to go through parts one through four as well. Okay. I guess now it's time for a rewatch. I guess. Cats induce drift. Let's get drifting off to sleep. I'm gonna have to find the other calicos. Look at all these cats. You admit defeat as you slowly start nodding off. Fair enough. It's late enough. Um, we have a nice number of shines. Maybe I should leave it like this? Ha <laughs> ha! Give me that. Cats, cats, in the air. In the sky, in your hair. Nice. How many cats do we need? Three? Five? Five? Can I really find five right now? I'll try. Pro Controller Drift Monk Omega! Wait a minute! Just one chicken! That must be a chicken getting ready to go to bed. Nero Newman, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're well. What's my favorite part? Uh, of JoJo? I'm gonna have to say, uh, out of the parts I've seen and read, so basically everything, uh, I'm just gonna have to say part four. Just call me a sucker for slice of life. But I like when the scale of something is constrained. It feels a lot more personal. Part four is more about like the safety of a town instead of the universe or the entire world. The world is always in danger. Let's have a story about just protecting the relationships you have with your friends. That feels a lot more realistic and relatable to me. I like the powers in 4. They're ridiculous without going over the wall. Over the wall. <laughs> and I like Morio as a location. Mario Cho Radio! Diamond does not crash! When I visited Japan, I had the opportunity to buy an entire box set of the Part 4 manga. Diamond wa kudakenai! Diamond is not crash. Those piranha plants really aren't respawning, are they? Hmm. Not great. Wondering how to call off the Bowser. And understand why I like it. it. Has great moments. Koichi is one of your favorite characters. I mean, Jotaro does. Oh, okay. Bye, Bowser. Looks like he took a Pecto Bismol. Jotaro does thank him and specifically him for teaching him what it is to truly be a friend and a stand user. Like not his, <laughs> not his uncle. Slash nephew slash relative, who is the main character of that part. Oh, he's like, thank you, Koichi, for everything you've done. What has he done? I'm not sure. One of the first examples of a character with an OP stand held back by their own mental abilities. Nijimura. Oi! I think that's an example of good character writing. If he and also the people around him never thought to use his OP power. Then it's because they were too distracted by like everything else going on in their lives, I want to say. 
I know there's a cat like down here somewhere. I saw it earlier when it was evil. There it is. And this is the path in which I must return it. I understand. Get here, you. Mau mau. Mau 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 mau. You heard Koi Koi, did you? <gasps> Where? Oh, this is bad. I can't run without throwing the cat. Ichimura was a character you relate to. Ah, come on. It's because you're a real bro sprint, that's why. Bowser's coming back so fast? Oh, acid reflux. Yodoro thanks Koichi while he's freezing time so we'll never know. Does the mama cat turn evil too? Yes. Oh gosh! Angry mama! Mamma mia! Oh no! Oh, I feel like I'm in alert mode in a Metal Gear Solid. I just gotta weed it out. Cause the shine I'm working on can't exact- <laughs> Gotta wait out that timer. Mama! 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 Just kill the man Put a gun right to his head Put my trigger and now he's dead Mama Life had just begun And then now I'm gone and I've thrown it all away Ooh -hoo. Mama Ooh -hoo -hoo. You ever notice how much of Mario's dialogue is just lyrics to Bohemian Rhapsody? Mama? Hoo hoo. And that's about it! Mama Mia, Mama Mia, Mama Mia, let me go! Mama Mia, let's go! DMCA, it's too good. He sings too well. Stop him now. This is an illegal public performance. You know, I actually, uh, at an anime convention. I like how Mario puffs his cheeks out like he's breathing underwater. Or trying not to breathe underwater, rather. Look, he's even taking little breaths every time he surfaces. The animators deserve credit for that, honestly. I never would have noticed if I wasn't bored trying to outlast Bowser's Fury. Uh, at an anime convention, I found this person selling uh, keychains of different panels from JoJo. And I have one that's uh, Nijimura. Uh, and it's the panel where he's going like, Hmm, I feel you. I feel you deeply. You're feeling I can feel deeply. One of the lines from the uh, famous bad translation that a... Uh, Chinese English student did. One of the lines that they didn't change because it just worked so well. Just like Ryuji, sincere and well-meaning, terrible execution. That's not his fault, he's in a very unique situation. I think if Ryuji was in a normal, like, life simulator game that didn't have personas in it, he'd actually, honestly, be a good bro. One thing you part, love of part four is end. Villain repeatedly reveals in all the good luck they have and then dies by pretty much dumb luck. In the end, yeah, it's like the main characters don't really even do anything that contributes to the villain's demise. Like, yes, they fight him and they do their darn best. But in the end, what gets him is just happenstance. Accidentally getting run over by an ambulance. Ooh, ironic. I think? Something like that. And then, after that, a main character adjacent does help finish him off by taking his spirit and leaving it in the other world. Does Bowser not leave unless I do something? Feels like it's lasted longer than usual. Ah, uh, what a beautiful duan. Mario Cho Radio. I 
I have asked my friend who can uh, read Chinese what the characters for Morio say if you were to read them as Chinese, and he has confirmed they do read as Duang. <laughs> I'm just gonna run around. I am the heckin' strong! Moral of the story, don't revel in your victories. Karma's gonna get you. Too proud, man. Bowser, you have spent the entire night shouting and breathing fire at me. I have tried to be the best neighbor I can. I don't know what else I can say. I'm just gonna have to move, you know? I'm just being too loud at night? My goodness. Cosmic irony. Oh, this is still here. Maybe that's why it never respawned. Kind of impressive. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. You'd be down for a series where Mario and Bowser's family are next door neighbors. So like Goof Troop but with Mario. Uh, no! I just want to feast on fuzzies, man. Oh, good. Well, that was me. That was my own dang fault. Now I know. It's a Goof Troop! And they always stick together! Yeah, it's the good group! Best of friends forever! Let's not have Mario sing the theme song if we want to rename Sane. Uh, but yeah, with regards to part six. Okay, so I, I, I've said what my favorite JoJo part is. Oh, gosh dang it. Eh. But as far as I think just the best made part overall has got to be part seven. That was when Araki like decided to make the series for adults instead of kids as like the base audience. And the story got way more like, I'm going to say mature, but not like, oh, it's gory. Oh, it's for adults only. No, it's just more personable and just well drawn and beautiful and amazing overall while it doesn't have my favorite Jojo while it doesn't have my favorite location because the location is pretty much just oh just the entirety of the USA during the 1700s I guess It felt like a grand adventure that we haven't really seen in the series ever since part three. Six is your favorite, you haven't read part seven or eight. Read part seven, take it as its own thing, because one of the... At the time of release, it was just called Steel Ball Run and not even associated with JoJo and then revealed to be a JoJo thing later. But it really does stand as its own thing as its own story, despite being Jojo. Question, favorite villain? Favorite villain in the series? I don't just want to say Kira. Because again, why I like part four is that now the main characters don't really have to know every one of his motivations. He just wants to live a quiet life. Chopping off women's hands and dating them. You know. As you do. Um. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know, because it, as a series, it actually has great villains all around. Everyone has their motivations and... Araki does a great job of writing those characters to their motivations. The greatest fault as characters lie in how they prioritize 
those aspects of their life over everything else. The gang leader part five, uh, Diavolo, I guess is his name. Just wants to continue being a gang leader. Also living in a quiet life, but still commanding over his gangs and apparently he's selling drugs to children or something. I don't know if he's ever aware of that. But because he's so narrowly focused on uh, offing anybody who stands in the way of his control, then yeah, he's evil. But he's evil for a reason. Um, I hate to be cliche, but I gotta say Dio. Gotta. A man with so much Pride. And it's not even like a cliche family pride. No, he hates his family. He wants to rise above his DNA, above his history, and become successful on his own terms. I think I see the cat over there. Now, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow. That sounds like a Pokemon. Magmeow. How do I bring this back? Do I like Dio or Dio? I'm gonna say part one Dio more as a villain. Which is the thing that saves part one for me. Like part one is old. Part one was written in the 80s. It was written as a sort of, not parody, but like, just another manga in the genre of Fist of the North Star. But to see a villain with so much drive and purpose for his own personal gains. I don't know what it is, but it's just fun to watch because you want to take him down. He was an absolute butt. And you want him to just, just... Just absolutely be decimated by the hero character. Because nobody told you he was evil. He didn't, like, destroy a village. He didn't... Well, I guess he... It's not like you killed my father prepared to die. It's more like you led to circumstances that resulted in my father dying. But that's not the only reason I hate you kind of thing. It's all the things he does to make Jonathan Joestar's life horrible. He just sees him as a stepping stone. That... When he gets resurrected as a vampire in part three, all these things I'm talking about, they make sense in context. There's not really much of that. It's just, yo, oh, I hate the Joestar family bloodline. You were part of it, therefore you must die. All right, okay. The fights are cool. <laughs> Why the all capitalized distinction? I think there's just an easy way to say part one versus part three Dio. And the capitalization is just because his casket, which for some reason he has two of, it's a big plot hole. Has it all in capital? Dio had more growth in part one than Jonathan. Absolutely. Like, Jonathan Joestar is meant to just be a generic hero man who does not change as a character. So they had to put all the character development into Dio. So, I, I keep saying they, but it's just Araki. So he succeeded, absolutely. I've talked to people who will refuse to read Jojo because they hate Dio so much in part one. And, like, and I can't, I can't blame them. I can't, because you are supposed to hate him so much. It succeeded way more than ever thought possible. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, you know what? I was about to say, I wish there was a power-up that gave you invincibility. We're good. I noticed it, I haven't mentioned it uh, out loud, but I love how 
these areas have several different permutations every time there's fury. And even in between the furies, there's just different enemies, different blocks. Keeps things fresh. Okay, bye, Bowser. See you never. He forgot about the two caskets. Did he really have that much of a plan? So, end of part one. Dio, uh is a vampire and he wants to chop off uh, the main character's head in order to use his body. I think there's something here. Aha! Let's go! I'm missing one coin. Pretty good! And after that, he was just going to, uh, I don't know, escape in a casket, use it as a boat. But the main character's wife ends up doing that instead. But then in part three, we find him in that casket, the, the villain. It, so there's just more than one, I don't know. First half part one, really good. Deals the archetype for a main character, but just evil. Kid rises to the top. And that's why part five was written around the basis of like, what if Dio was a good guy? What if his circumstances were different around how he was raised? He still has the drive, the motivation, Giorno Giovanna does. And again, now that I've watched part five and understood how his character is supposed to be represented, I see that so much more in him now. He's not perfect any more than Dio is. He's motivated by his own goals. And in this, just in this case, his own goals are to be a gang star. <laughs> it just so happens that the current leader of the gang is evil, so he uh, has to fight evil, so therefore he's good. If the gang was somehow full of good people, he might just be evil. Uh, 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 uh. You had people who refused to watch it based on members of the fandom. They really do be like that with so many things that are popular these days. It's why as much as I like Undertale, I do. I played it. Played it before I started streaming. I just will not ask people to play it. Unless they already show interest. And then I will not try to convince them one way or the other. Just if you want to play it, play it on your own, form your own opinion. That's it. That's all you need to know. Because once you once you involve the fandom, that's it. It's ruined. Thanos was the archetype of protagonist in Infinity War. You know what? I see that. He collects the medallions in order to... <laughs> create a perfect world in his eyes. Can we talk about how in the, con in the comics... Uh, Thanos, he didn't want to destroy half of the world, the universe, the sentient life, because of any notion of, like, balance. Well, maybe a little bit, but his main motivation was to just impress, uh, basically the Grim Reaper, who in the Marvel Universe is a woman. Yeah. And apparently there's, like, a love triangle between Thanos, Death, and Deadpool? even talk about anymore. I don't know. I probably should have stopped streaming a long time ago, but now I'm just into it. This is Bowser's Fury. It's like you can just keep playing forever. Did I even get? I got the... Did I get the... Shine for reuniting the cat family? I did. Yes, there's all five. I'm not even thinking. I'm just playing. He did it to impress Lady Death. He wasn't impressed. It was a disgusting display. Love it. He first saw the lower romance between Death and Deadpool in the Deadpool game. You know, Sprint was playing the Deadpool game. How is that game? I have it. Before it got delisted and then relisted again. I don't know. I have this renewed interest in the MCU. Because there's... 
they're they're bringing in more and more of the comic stuff now that they're allowed to uh, have everything that Fox had. And I'm all for it. I know a lot of interest died down after Endgame. And I don't blame anybody because it does feel like a definitive end. What's going on? It's behind the wall. Deadpool game short, you love it a lot. Some parts didn't age well. Ugh. It's a consequence of edgy humor, I suppose. You were watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World the other day. And I totally admit there are parts of that movie that didn't age well. And the comic as well. But I think it's good that it's a product of its time. It is very much set in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. I guess late. Just the 2000s. And I'm glad that we have you know, progressed as a society since then. Alrighty, righty. Uh, I got 73 shines. Somehow, without thinking, I got four after getting a nice number. So, uh, let's call it after this next one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I know what's an easy way to get rid of Fury Bowser. Let's die. I forgot. <laughs> Oof. Oof, ouch, my bones. What we got? What's a good easy shine to get? Um, I think I was still missing a... Something over here. Lake Lapcat? Fury Shadow on deck. Yeah, let's get that one. Looks easy. Luigi! I do it! Look at you! What was my plan? You can't run away from me! Mario's gonna wring your neck! Oh, that's terrible. It's okay, my neck is made of ghoul! I always loved how um, Il Piantissimo and uh, Koopa the Quick, these types of races in Mario 3D games, serve as tutorials showing what... More so with Il Piantissimo, showing what is Mario's capable of, but someone just beginning the game may not know or be aware that he can do. Big brain move! I love how Scott Pilgrim is not a good person, and, it, and not until the end he realizes that himself. It's hard to... It's, it's hard to get that across in the movie. The movie is great, but it does make it look like Scott Pilgrim just gets the girl in a matter of a couple of days. A week, I guess. The comic does a great job of having him reconcile his past. And, uh... Except that the misconceptions about his relationships with other people are not healthy. And he needs to take responsibility and actually grow up for once. Good. Good stuff. Doesn't come across in the movie as much. They cut Lisa Miller entirely, and that's a shame. All right, all right, one more shine. One more shine, and we're gonna call it. I swear, I swear. What is this? What? Oh. Oh, I got this already. Yeah. I don't remember the cat, Say Sykes. Say Sykes right now. Good stuff. All right. All right, all right, all right. All right. 
All right, all right, all right, all right. Question. All y'all in chat. What you have for dinner? <laughs> uh, I can't end a stream without asking the question. It is essential. It is a staple. Egg. Oh, sprint with the egg whites and rice. It's good that you're keeping a diet, and you honestly make it sound so tempting, so delicious. I got some eggs in the fridge. I just don't know what I do with the yolks after. Make homemade mayonnaise, put it in a can, drink it. Haha, <laughs> we're going back to that, huh? Oh, here we go. Uh. Uh. I don't have my Bowser amiibo. Or maybe I do. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I got the Mario Sports Mix Waluigi. I got a Bowser. Let's go. Scan it. Scan it. Please work. Oh, you don't count as a Bowser? Rude. They don't want... <laughs> they don't want... People who paid for a $3 booster pack to get the same functionality as somebody who paid $15 for a Bowser Amiibo, huh? I used a Bowser Amiibo card from Mario Sports Mix. You can't tell me that doesn't work. It's Soccer Bowser. Bowser literally uses soccer balls in this game to fight you. It cannot be more appropriate. Worst company's got a little bit of leftover adobo. Me? Microwave popcorn chicken. Nice, nice. Good protein. Fruit mixes in some goldfish. I hope, hopefully you mean the snack cracker. Just saying. I know you probably mean that. I hope you mean that. Goldfish, the snack that smiles back. Good, good, good. Let's go. Nero hasn't even eaten breakfast yet. Oh, time zones. I want some goldfish too. I told myself last time I made a grocery order that I have to get a snack that's healthy. Or at least healthier than I want to usually get. Because I always get like candy, like chocolates or whatever. Cookies. No, no, I have to stop that. So this time I just got tortilla chips. And I got some salsa guacamole to go with it. Absolutely fantastic decision on my part. Like, you do have to watch the salt. The carbs of whatever tortilla chips you get, but... I'm assuming they're better than Doritos for you. And guacamole is good fat, right? Pretty good. I shouldn't be talking about food this late at night. That's it, we got all the shines. I gotta stop playing. Hope that snow outside isn't too bad. I hope so as well. For everyone's sake. This is it. This is the imagery we leave ourselves on for tonight. Mario, cuddled by cats all around. No thick Bowser to ruin our day. Just Bowser Jr. It's okay, he can be thick. He's got a little bit of baby fat. Take a pick for Lemmy, but I'm just a box! I gotta go, I gotta go <laughs> touch an enemy so I'm not just a box. Just a box. I'm a living in a box. I'm a living in a cardboard box. I'm a living in a box, baby. Here we go. Come on, we get we need this one last cat. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, Bowser Jr. Uh, how, how to? Ooh, uh, wait, uh, oh, wait, uh, wait a minute. No, oh, but that was just a stamp ruining it. Uh, zoom. Taking a picture for Lemmy Cat. I'll oblige with that. Wonderful. Wonderful! Just kitties. Perfect! <laughs> Alright, everybody.
I think that's a good sign. 75. Yeah, we're three fourths of the way through the game. 100 cat shines the next time we play Bowser's Fury? I guess so. Bum ba dum bum ba da bum. Wish you actually got snow in December, November. Same. I mean, I live in California, so I'd never get snow, but I wish that winter felt more like winter. Because I don't think it dropped below 60 degrees all of last winter. But uh, in the past few months, I've been waking up to like 40, 50. Not snow, but... You know, it always seems that that's when it gets coldest around here. Uh, say psych right now, plant in the background. Psych right now. Say psych right now. Alrighty, everybody. It's late. We gotta get going. Thank you, everybody, for... We're hanging out and talking about the Nintendo Direct. Uh, thanks for indulging in my uh, Nintendo apologist behavior. I don't ever mean to say that whatever Nintendo does is perfect. I just expect. I just expect realistic things from them, which is not what everyone wants them to do. Ugh. It's sad. But, you know, such is the life of a Nintendo fan. Um, um, um. So, uh, Queen Miku found mayonnaise in a can. That's our art for tonight. Everybody, uh, if you ever have any art for the stream, post it to the Discord or tweet it at me. <laughs> uh, and I'll put it up. But besides that, Thank you guys for hanging out. That's the last Mario stream for today, uh, for this week. Tomorrow, Pokemon trading card game, Game Boy Color. Be there, be square. Why are you telling us this? I'm out. But it's true. It is what the world has given us. It is real. <laughs> uh, if you haven't already, follow me on Twitch to catch me live next time I talk about mayonnaise. Or play this game, one of those. Uh, <laughs> There's a Discord, Twitter, uh, YouTube channel, all that good stuff. We'll find somebody to raid in a second, but on the YouTubes, on the Archive, on the VOD, if you're going to sleep, have a good night. I'll see you next time. And stay clucky. Stay clucky.